All right. We should be live. I am streaming. Let's see if YouTube agrees. What's up, Jimmy Jones? Thank you for the early good evening. We got folks in the house already. Oh, my God. We're starting with five likes, and I haven't even done anything. What if you hate it? <laughs> you can always change your mind. But I appreciate you all being here. For Icarus, thank you for joining, whether you're joining live or later. I'm going to shut this off before I forget. And I am in chat with Cube and the Gaming Economist. What's up, guys? Howdy. Howdy there, guys. Hello, hello. Guys, let me know if everything's good, if everybody is balanced properly and everything. I think G-Con maybe was a little loud. Turn him down just a tad. Cube sounded just about right. Turn him up a little bit. Okay. So you guys let me know. Um, so, yeah. First, the uh, Icarus update. And then uh, we're going to figure out what we're going to do today. I have an idea. Um, so I've been streaming Icarus every Saturday because it's been by popular demand. And it's also definitely filling that niche for the survival genre that I so love and adore. Um, but having issues with it um, because the performance is just so shoddy in multiplayer. Um, and I think multiplayer is what folks are here for, for Icarus. And so I'm a little dubious about being able to continue Icarus on the channel right now, just because it basically, as people join the multiplayer, uh, for each person joining, we take a huge FPS hit, not just when they land, but in general. It's at the point now where if I join this map solo, with nobody else on it, but I'm technically hosting, I get 20 FPS, um, which is just below the level of playability for me. Like, I don't need to have 60 FPS, but 20 FPS is a headache-producing slideshow. So somebody has to bear that to for us to play, um, which is rough. So I'm hoping that they will address that soon um, and either figure out the performance or else figure out some way at least we can put it on a dedicated server so that, uh, a, you know, a faceless, nameless computer can handle that load. And, we'll, you know, even if we just get to have seven people and not eight, or if someone figures out how to spoof that on a dedicated computer, uh, that would be pretty cool too. But, yeah, it's just a little rough. They got to they gotta handle their business and get their performance going for multiplayer what's up ladybugs so yeah i'm not sure we may take a little break from icarus but we're going to finish this prospect uh tonight and probably um probably do one more um gcon is gracious enough to be willing to host right now cube is host did someone build a secret base they're not telling you about <laughs> we yeah. actually i found it <laughs> is there another one it depends what depends which one you found. Well, I found the one that uh, G-Con built over on the other side of the Arctic. Oh, Which... right. I made a base in the super cave down in the desert, but I'm... Oh, okay. I packed it up. I also packed up the F4 base, and that didn't seem to affect anything. So Yeah. I mean, there's a couple of theories. One is just that the maps don't age well, that when people do things, not even just building bases, but mining, like every time... You affect the map. The map's got to remember that right now, this map takes more than 20 gigabytes of memory on somebody's computer to load in, which is just out of control. Um, but it's like they're loading the whole map at once instead of just chunks of it, you know? Um, but we've seen reports that even before anybody's done anything, that just people joining and filling those slots really affects the performance as well. So, you know, we're going to do some more testing. Uh, Cube had laid out a plan for uh, doing some quick missions after this and just seeing what happens as people join the mission and as people leave and seeing the effect, <laughs> excuse me, that both of those things have. Ladybugs, you're good. Just got back from picking your son from work. Snuggling on the couch with your doggy watching the stream. Sounds good. GeForce could be an option. Not seeing anyone use it for stuff like this or streaming with it. Well, the thing is, Empire, is that 
it doesn't seem to be graphics card related. I mean, there's a certain frame rate you can get with your graphics card, right? Um, and with mine, the 3090, I can get up to like 60, 70, 80, 90 frames per second. But when I'm hosting the map, it's not graphics card related at all. Um, that I can I can reduce the settings to Play-Doh and it still doesn't fix that 20 FPS. And I think it's memory and CPU because what we've seen looking at our performance is that the, the memory, the RAM gets totally used. Um, and I've got like a healthy 32 gigabytes of RAM and it pretty much uses it all. And then um, on the CPU, one of the threads gets hammered and the rest are basically idle. Um, so like I have a 12 core, 24 thread CPU. One thread is just a hundred percent maxed and all the rest are like, you know, if you want to share that load, you could, you could pass them over to me. And that one thread is like, no, I got this, <laughs> but he doesn't got this. Yeah. GeForce, they use their system to run the game remote play. Yeah. It would be interesting to see if that would overcome it but i don't think that would overcome the um the limitations with multi-threadedness uh which a lot of games seem to suffer from that i don't know why it's so hard but i'm not a programmer um and it seems also like it's better optimized for intel than amd and a lot of us in my community went for amds um because they're actually better performance right now but they may not have optimized for those. I don't know, but they got to stop adding content for a minute and just work on performance. At least that's my recommendation for them because I'm a big time player of it and they're going to lose me for a little while if they can't fix this because I don't think you guys want to see me play solo. I mean, I could, but, uh, you know, everybody loves the multiplayer hijinks. And uh, if it can't support that reasonably, or if someone's got to be the martyr and take the 20 frames per second hit that's no fair to anybody but we're gonna play tonight so anyway that's just the update um game plan for tonight is first well this isn't the game plan but i'm a little alarmed that some of my uh crap plots are gone missing who stole them did you guys take them nope uh-huh i know you took them for your cave base yeah you make your own <laughs> crap plots we're missing one two three four five crop plots six wait one two three four five are missing hey treetop tigger what's up saw you over on Fort fortizar stream you guys should definitely check out fortizar he shouts me out every time i say hello over in his chat he is a daily streamer of survival games um and a good low-key guy uh just like we like so yeah um, I did manage to come on uh, in between streams to try to grow some more crops. I went and I found some corn, and um, I got some soybeans as well. Because um, the plan tonight is since this map seems to be on a timer for its lifespan before it becomes unplayable, um, we wanted to go ahead and get those exotics. Cube got exotics from one of the nodes, right, Cube? Yeah. And what did you uh, do with those? They're in the ship and also what's left over is at the main base i think okay main base being the first base yeah okay so we're gonna have to make sure to get all of this out of here when we leave hey crazy mom and so i i also have my alt character who's out at the main base so we can also use him to get stuff out if we need to um, perfect but uh yeah i had to use my alt on my streaming computer to play solo to do some stuff so that I could get... As soon as I did that, I got 60 frames again. Um, but I had to pay attention to him on my other computer and make sure he kept uh, kept him fed and watered and stuff. I mean, maybe if he died, I could have uh, kept going. I don't know. Um, but the... Uh, uh, yeah. And uh, that... My streaming computer only has a 980, so that was Play-Doh land over there. <laughs> But uh, it worked for that. But the problem is, I can't do that when I'm streaming. Otherwise, that would be a great solution. If one of us had another computer to just keep a character on, uh, that could sort of be like our dedicated hosting. But yeah, what's up, everybody? Thank you for joining. Uh, thank you for bearing through my, not complaining, but just realism about playing this game. The sad thing, though, is if we 
don't play this. There's nothing else exactly filling this niche right now. Um, at least for the time being. There's a couple games coming up that we'll probably be checking out. It sounds like there's a good number of us who are going to want to check out V Rising for a while and explore our evil vampire survival side. And then... Uh, it's not going to come to a fourth quarter, but there's another game that is going to fill this niche uh, called Nightingale that's coming up, which I've actually been invited to be one of the creators to give feedback on the development of, which really excites me, especially if they listen, because, you know, we've been playing a lot of these kind of games, so we definitely have a lot of uh, valid feedback to give that would make the game awesome. So hopefully that turns out well. Uh, we'll see. Um, so tonight, I just wanted to do a little bit around here. I wanted to um, make some food so that we can use that to go to the Arctic with. Uh, we're going to have a lot of good food buffs possible from all this food. And I just wanted to do a little bit of fortification on the base because there's a weak point to bears that could destroy the whole thing. Um, and then other than that, we just wanted to get prepped and go out and go to the Southern Arctic and to the Northern Arctic. Um, if we have time, and at least to the southern Arctic first, and go ahead and kill some polar, polar bears, make some polar bear armor, and get that exotic node down there, and then uh, then go up to the north and get that exotic node up there. So uh, these guys may have some input on how much prep they want to do for that, if we want to take a little mini base with us, or... If we want to just wing it, or, you know, what do we want to do? What do you guys think? I think we can... You can pretty much wing going into the, the desert. That requires very little preparation, because there's plenty of stuff there. Um, the southern glacier, the kind of Arctic in the south, is... Uh, that's a different story. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll, we'll probably need to have a, a mini base on us to put down, because there's not much to build with there and um, very cold and yes lots of polar bears I was thinking of the southern one first because we could then put together a polar bear armor um, which will help us in the north I don't know if the temperatures in the north get as extreme but, uh, they're manageable I mean I, I've gone through with cloth armor okay um, <laughs> but it's if you get hit with a storm, you're you're ducking in caves and putting down a campfire as fast as you can, or you're dead. Well, dead could be fun. True. Yeah. Ladybug says, "Hmm, yep. vampires. Ah, my fear of getting bitten should be interesting. It'd be hard for me too, you know, because I'm." very much a nice guy and it's hard for me even in RP to not be a nice guy but in this um, there's some way around it like you can get a certain amount of blood from rats and stuff but um, there is going to have to be some human victims so I'm going to have to learn how to uh, role play being a little bit evil or a lot evil okay let's put these down just want to do frames, G-Con? Is that what you sorted out? For base? Uh, yeah. Actually, I was, I've been looking at the um, the stats of the various buildables. And um, there's, there's some interesting stuff on weights. Um, so I thought it might be fun to try a kind of a, there's a mishmash of uh, different kind of materials we could use to, to build a mini base um, that should stand up to the Arctic. Uh, but using the game's own kind of inconsistencies in that some pieces are uh, much lighter than others. So I thought it might be interesting to to challenge MP to, to try and build a constructor mini base using um, these kind of components, uh, which would be handy because it means we can basically carry an entire base by with one person. Hey, Crackers. Yeah. What's up? We miss you here. What's new in Icarus? Uh, a lot of stuff. Um, 
One of the things that's new is uh, different kinds of crop plots. And uh, you gotta hook up water for them and stuff. There's a whole bunch of things. Um, good to see you. So how about... I'm okay uh, if you guys want to work on the mini base. I don't need to be the one doing that necessarily. And I'll work on getting us some food ready. Sounds good. Okay. See what you come up with. It sounds like you got some ideas. How you doing, Crackers? I've been watching you play. Uh, well, not watching you play because you're not streaming it, but I've been um, uh, seeing that you are playing a lot of uh, World of uh, Warships. How is that treating you? I've looked at that. Come on, connect. I think it's too far. We're going to have to stop here. The pi water piping is a little buggy, but you can make it work. There we go. And then, are you connected to water? No. You are. And yeah, we lost some of our piping when those crop plots mysteriously disappeared. You need water? I wonder if it took damage, like lightning through the building or something. I don't Maybe. know. Maybe. Here, let's get rid of... Oh, there was one up here, too, that we lost. Well, you know what? This is my chance. I didn't like these pipes that went across here, so we're going to use this opportunity to no, get maybe. rid of them. There are conspicuously fewer trees out here as well. I wonder if um, we had a succession of forest fires and it's despawned most of the dead trees. Because uh, I don't think we chopped down anything like the number of trees that appear to be missing from here. Well, yeah, stuff disappears whether you use it or not. If you don't use it, the storms will yeah. slowly destroy them. you got to do a lot of extra clicking on those water pipes before they finally decide to do their thing. Well, cool. I wanted to clean up this piping anyway, and uh, this is forcing me to do it. Uh, I don't so know you if you if you know this, but I was I was watching a uh, a YouTuber called Whack, and he was it was a uh, titled "Are Crop Plots Which Crop Plots Are the Best or Are They Worth It?" Uh, apparently, all you need is a glass beam, and it can be inside a fully enclosed building. Yeah, I know about that, but um, okay. That's, I mean, this feels, cheese, this I, feels like cheese to it. me. Yeah, <laughs> but just understanding and, the mechanic was was interesting. And I also didn't want to miss the opportunity to uh, build a greenhouse, right? Oh no, no, I'm yeah. I'm just saying, in terms of uh, if you need to get, I don't know, something closer in the center, you just put a glass beam in the center if, if it doesn't reach all the way. Actually, this is the fully complement. Right. These all have the greenhouse buff. Perfect. Um, so that worked out fine. All yeah, right, these are the mid-tier garden plots, crackers. These are the iron ones. So there's the wood ones now, the iron ones, and then the hydroponic ones. The hydroponic ones are super fancy, and they take um, uh, circuits, which is a little too expensive, I think. In my opinion, Let's see, I want to get water to these. But once I put the um, water pipe tool away, all right, this one's too far. Let's see, let's give it a helper right there, maybe. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. I'll put one. Click, 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 click. Come on. Give it to me. There we go. I'll put one. How about you go right? How about right there? Okay, that needs some water. Okay, once I put this tool away, you won't see. Uh, 
the pipes anymore. You need water. You missed the part before where we um, piped from from the uh, lake down below. Okay, it's got water, and we had to power it with generators, which I can show anybody who wants to see that part. It does bring water to the house to drink, too. It hooks up to the kitchen bench. And then you can put canteens in the kitchen bench. And they fill. I had all this plum before, but it mysteriously disappeared. All right, I think we're all hooked again. Just to complete the circuit going all the way around, which I don't really need to do. We're going to connect that to that. Okay. And now I think everybody's watered, right? You all good? And what watering does is it uh, speeds up crop growth by 50%. And then um, the greenhouse effect also speeds up growth by 50%. And I expect... Uh, to make crop plots that also speed up crop growth. So we get really fast crop growth, basically. And then I'm also spec so that the crops don't rot. Okay. All right, now it's a little bit neater. We don't have those going across, and we've replaced the ones that disappeared so mysteriously. All right, let's do a little harvest, and then we're going to see if we can make some yummy foods to take with us. You've been playing that just for fun? Life has thrown you for a loop lately and trying to sort through some of that. Yeah, we miss you greatly, Crackers. Sorry if life is messing with you. Let me know if you want me to have a talk with life and I'll, uh, I'll get it sorted for you. You're like, life, you stop messing with my friend Crackers. You leave her alone. I'm going to do this exciting stuff of planting. It is exciting to me, actually. Let's just do my corn here. Cyber, I got you, man. I got you. I'll be like, life. Stop messing with my friends. In fact, stop messing with anybody. We've done our best for you, and you have to do the same for us, or else. Or else. So the um, nightingale is in uh, Cracker's neck of the woods. The devs. Oh yeah. Yeah. They're yeah, they they're uh, from Canada. Yeah. There's a game called Nightingale coming out the end of this year, Crackers. That uh, I think may be good a good uh, multiplayer thing for all of us. And if you can handle being a vampire on the 19th, we got a. Um, vampire game a lot of us are going to check out called uh, V Rising which uh, I already applied to G Portal for a server for so uh, it makes me think that's going to work out Arthek found your channel a week or so ago playing on your Icarus while watching and play on yours awesome hopefully uh, when you have a bear you won't think it's the sound is coming from our game <laughs> that's the problem with saying, playing the same game or watching the same game that you're playing it's hard to know uh, which sounds to pay attention to and which not uh, Icarus not Icarus, excuse me, Nightingale is, is going to be it's former Bioware devs but not officially Bioware um, and that's going to be cool I think it's a uh, crafting survival game uh, but in a uh, gas lamp Victorian era thing, uh, meets the Fae. So they're going to 
be uh, dealing with all kinds of mystical worlds that they can portal from. Um, but there's building and there's crafting and all the all of the above. And uh, I'll know more. I don't know what kind of NDA I'm going to be under, but uh, I'm going to be on some panels giving them feedback, which uh, I want nothing more than that, man. To be able to give feedback to devs on these games that I spend thousands of hours on is pretty cool. You know, who knows how much, how far that will go, but um, yeah. Yeah. My storm already scared you. <laughs> yeah. It is worth a shot, isn't it, Wook? So, are you, uh... Are you good at, um... World of Warships, Crackers? You blowing all the ships up? Are you to be feared on the high seas? I know you were a pretty vicious pirate. Your tenacity in trying to take other ships down was amazing. We, uh, Crackers was the ringleader when we were playing Atlas at getting us to actually fight each other on the ships. She'd arrange it, um, these battles. And there was one point where I sunk her ship and I thought she was gone. And I had sailed far away. And then... Surprise, surprise, somehow she had swum, swam for like 15 minutes, caught up to my ship, and climbed aboard with her knife in her teeth, and uh, nearly killed me. Long That's after, tenacity. <laughs> long after her ship was gone. <laughs> it's like, damn, Crackers, you're into this. Getting better with yeah. your torpedoes with your destroyer, dang. It's another level. Ooh. That might be making a comeback. What? Uh, Atlas. I actually just reinstalled. Uh, oh, really? Based on some videos I just watched. Yeah, completely new development team, apparently. Which could be good or not, <laughs> depending. Yeah. Ooh. I'm getting some pretty bad lag with this. Uh, not usually this bad. Yeah, there's are a delay for the planting the crops. Are you four frames per second? Uh, I don't know. It's not FPS that's the issue. It's, um, you know, it's like you do an action and maybe two seconds later you will get the result. You know, so like mining stone is interesting. Yeah, I'm getting that with uh, planting the crops. When I transferred over it, Takes a second. Uh. Last tweet I saw from Atlas, they were celebrating wiping again. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> Celebrate that. It sounds like they've got a better community manager now. Uh basically engaged every day they're actually listening to the players they're making the changes it's not there yet but um, new ship system bunch of new systems in there well, there's a structural issue issue with atlas that i don't know if they'll ever be able to overcome without putting a ton of work into it is that they built it on the bones of arc right, right. and um arc has base coding issues and uh, and they just kind of asset flipped onto the top of that, adding new stuff. Uh, so that's kind of a major Achilles heel. That um, I mean, they could rewrite some of the base code, but I don't know if they have the financial incentive for Atlas to do that. All right, Crackers, thanks for saying hi. Hopefully see you soon. Consider being a vampire with us on the 19th. We'll see how that one goes. We'll give it a shake. Is there not a textiles bench? Not here, no. Okay. Feel free to make one. Alright.
I think it's mainly just copper nails, isn't it? Is it like 120 copper nails? Or I think so, yeah. Let me just check. All right, that's the full harvest. And hopefully it's still good. I had left these full of stuff. Yep. Oh yeah, look at all that. All right, so we want to make some things. Let's uh, turn this wheat into flour. And I was going to um, learn how to make wine, too. Excuse me. Put that in there. I don't think I can make wine yet. Let me see. Now, we can also bring beer. But that's competing for wheat. But I think they both do the same thing. As far as uh, giving you stamina. And... We should probably make um, some stamina paste, too, on the herbalism bench. What does that take? What is that? Oh, mortar and pestle thing or herbalism bench thing? Maybe I never learned it. Uh, let's see. Tech tree. Maybe it's tier two. Stamina buff paste. There's buff and regeneration. Oh my god, there's f four stamina pastes. Which one do we want? Stamina buff? Stamina regen? Stamina consumption? Or stamina restoration? <laughs> What's the difference between restoration and regeneration? Oh my god. What are you guys... Huh? One's, one's instant, one's over time, I'd imagine. Oh, okay. Do you guys have an opinion on which one of those is the most worthy yeah. for running across the map? Not really. I'd say regen is probably a good bet. Okay, it just needs reed flowers. It's a lot cheaper than buff. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, is that I think... I think with your uh, magnificent pies, I think we will will be good for. Uh, yeah, stamina. and so it'll just be yeah. The the regen is probably a far better. Investment. I was gonna try to make yeah. us a bunch of um, meat pie, and then whichever else is the best. Uh, let me see. Where is um, wine? I think the the root pie was. I think the vegetable one was the weakest of the three, if I recall correctly. The vegetable was the weakest? We, we could have the the pie trifecta. Yeah, I was just about to say yes. Um, uh, yeah, it, just, it has to be done for science. The pie factor? All right. How many bottles of wine should we bring each for the trip? <laughs> it's gonna be my kind of trip. Let's make a uh, twenty-four. We'll have eight bottles of wine each. How's yeah, that? Yeah. Well, it, it needs to be a, a case, really, doesn't it? So. Oh, I got another level up. Hey, G Con, how many drills are there? There is one extractor. I was gonna make two more. Um, yeah, I grabbed one. If we're gonna try to do two nodes, it should be an in and out kind of deal. Uh, I think there's only one node down there. No, but you can put three extractors on one node, right? Uh, some you can, some you can only put two. Okay, well, we should at least bring two so we could speed it up and move on to the next one. I think. Yeah, agreed. So I have three more talent points. I don't know why. I took an extractor. No, in the. Um, oh, in the craft. The build. Yeah. Because it's a uh, fabricator. No, I just looked at it. You didn't do the mission. On this I tune. Definitely did the mission. Uh, I've done it. I don't see it, but I've done it on my alt and not this one. 
I've, I've definitely done it on this character and I built the extractor that was in the cupboard. Oh yeah, right. Um, so, why is it suddenly missing? Check the challenge tea. I'm going to, um... They have reorganized the talents, uh, I noticed, on, on this update. Um, I'm going to learn well, crafted right, crop tree. plots yield more crops. Do um, I get wine? Oh, yeah. How many <laughs> bottles do you want? I don't know. Where are we going? How many bottles can you drink? <laughs> <laughs> Not that many. I'm a lightweight. Okay. I was going to... We're going to go to two Arctics, so we need a lot of wine. Oh, so I'm... Polar bear bait. Okay. <laughs> Self-described. We didn't put that on you. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna try to be as as tasty as possible for polar bears myself. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. This annoys me. Um, I don't have the blueprints, and it requires a town. So it's saying. They are locked to me, despite the fact I made the extractor with, that was sitting in the cupboard. So, so that must have been the update that took away your... Yeah, uh, it's it's bought my blueprint, available blueprints. Lovely! Well, Monkey, can you see if you still have it? Uh, yeah, what do you want? Uh, the, um... Just look in your talent tree to see if you have the extractor unlocked. Yeah, it's, it's tier 4, uh... Next to the arrows. It should be in the fabricator, right? Yeah. I That's have here. it. Oh. Cool. I'm not seeing it in the fabricator. Oh, wait. Maybe. No. Oh, I do. Uh, I have it. I have it. Oh, you have. And oh, the radar. Um. Maybe we should skip the wine for you, man. Forget the stuff. Um, yeah, could we maybe make two more? Uh, yeah, this is throw the uh, ingredients in the fabricator. Um, uh, if I remember correctly, it's like five electronics and 20 iron for an extractor. You're only going to need one more. Yeah, that's exactly right. G-Con, mm -hmm. don't make a third. Uh, well, I can't make one, as it turns out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But... How's it going, Chris? Good, how are you? Ah, fair to Midland. <laughs> That's all you can expect, right? It's better yeah. than bad, but yeah, not great. It's going to take a lot of berries. Um, just wondering whether we... Should we sleep? Um, is anybody outside doing one, stuff? No, I'm inside. I'm just crafting away. I don't really need to. Well, it's just I was working on the, um, the mini base thing. Yes, okay. Well, let's sleep. There's five of us on. Ooh. Who's the fifth? Really? The bad mamma jamma. No. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I found you. What's cracking, boys? And What's up, Chris? man? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Glad you guys made it in. Yeah, me too. Uh, So, fur armors, then? Yeah, I should uh, have a set in the box there. Uh, you had a set, and then I repaired it and stole it. Oh, okay, yes. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> yeah. It's like gift for putting my clothes in the community box. Rope and leather. Who am I missing to make more wine? We'll have to wait and see. So how's all the things, guys? Good. Oh, pretty good, mostly. Working way too hard, but it's all for good purpose. What's with the new furniture in this game? Has anybody 
I just watched uh, somebody else's stream when they um, messed with it a bit. It looks kind of cool. It's definitely a little bit more RP stuff. Um, but it's a little borked in the fact that uh, you can't sit on the chairs and couches and stuff. And none of the storage options are any better. And none of the what? None of the storage options are any better. Which, you know, if they wanted to, you know, incentivize us to, to use them, they could have made comparable storage or better. Yeah. Yeah, you can't sit on them. What's up with that? All right, making 20 meat pies. If somebody brings me more raw meat, I can make more meat pies. Anyway, got a hankering to do some hunting. Dibs. Alright, and I... Oh, soybeans right now. What do you know? Um... You see, I gotta go, uh... Harvest some more berries, too. The one thing that seems cool from it is candles. You can light your base up with candles instead of, um... Torches everywhere. Oh, that's cool. Which seemed kind of nice and cozy. Yeah. Yeah, they had good brightness, too. Right. I don't know what it takes to make them. I mean, we could just make the uh, the bench for it real fat. quick. Oh, yeah, just animal fat? Un I think you need to unlock it first. You need to do the mission. Oh, really? So we can't I just make so. it here? Sir Garwin, what's up, man? No, I'm just uh, being lazy, catching up with chat. <laughs> no shouting is necessary, man. I'm sorry. I'm just not uh, being a complete reader. Hello, hello. You know you're always welcome here, man. Metal Storm. I'm good. You're late? You're running errands? Oh, well, you know, it's just a stream. It's not something you need to be on time for. You can always watch the rest of it later. Yeah, sorry I missed your messages, Sir Garwin. I was just, uh, being sloppy there. But I'm making pie. I'll give you a piece. Hopefully that makes up for it. We're gonna go for the pie trifecta. Pyfecta. About turn time. <laughs> yes, sir. No connection issues? Uh, not yet. Not yet. I mean, as far as the game goes, we... Uh, right now, Cube is taking the hit to host. Um, so there's that issue. Thank you, Cube. Which is... Uh, we had a little talk about that in the beginning of the stream. How that might make me take a break from doing some um, multiplayer Icarus for a while. Because it's just... It's rough. And it's not just when we're all playing. Like... I tried to join after the last stream, and I got 20 FPS, which is just, because technically I'm still hosting it, right? And that's just rough. That's just rough. They got to fix that. That's by yourself? Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. Um, because it's still looking at it as an eight-person uh, hosting situation, right? Oh, so yeah, the, I, I saw you guys were talking about that in Discord. Yeah. And so, did you guys see if anybody left the uh, the prospect? If it made any difference? No, yeah, we, we done that yet. didn't. But uh, I didn't want 
to give anybody pressure to leave this one. We'll just kind of suffer through it. But we had a, a plan for, uh, after this, Cube had a plan. I forget exactly what it was, but doing a quick mission to get some exotics. Get everybody to join, see how that affects the FPS. Where It's one where we're not building a lot and doing that kind of stuff. See how that affects. And then as people leave, have the person remaining watch if that affects the FPS. So... We have uh, some science ahead for the next one that uh, I would stay tuned for. Is that about right, Cube? Yeah. Just do a fresh map and just see what effect just the players have. Yeah, and so we could see if it's just people joining or um, otherwise we'll just yell at GCon for doing too much. <laughs> But again, if, if people can't play the game, then that's a problem in itself, right? You know, people should be able to join and play the game. I can't like have a multiplayer and then say, okay, don't play until we stream next or else you'll ruin it. It's like, what kind of game is that? Well, do you need fur? Uh, no, I'm good. Thank you. Oh, you Chris. know what? Also, if you guys... Uh, if you guys hunt and you get all the different kinds of meats, let's build a drying rack and throw it on the drying rack instead of cooking it. Because um, Cube found out, well, not the regular meat, the regular meat we need to use, but the um, the special cuts. Cube figured out that if you cook them, you get just the prime meat buff from all of them. But if you uh, um, dry them, then they have unique buffs. Each. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Melee speed, melee damage, um, environmental, I think, was another one. Yeah, so it makes sense to uh, be drying them then, which gives purpose for the drying rack. Which I didn't put one in because I was like, oh, that's early game, right? But apparently not. And the food lasts longer. Is there any steel around here? There was a little bit in the uh, machining bench. Yeah, there's one piece. Just did you bring any open. iron back, Cube? I did. It's all in the machining bench. So you could um, make some steel bloom out of that. Um, look in the oh, look in the material processor. See if there's any bloom in there. I was I've been remembering lately to use the material processor as a as a mortar and pestle. I kind of forgot about that. He needs guns. Uh, I, I don't have a gun. I'm I'm probably good with the bow though. Okay. We got lots of bullets. You remember who you're playing with, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's why that's why I prefer just just arrows. It gives you a greater chance of getting mauled. Oh I mean uh, adds the adventure to the stream. <clears throat> oh, I see. <laughs> Is that why you play with this guy all the time? <laughs> yeah. He watches me get mauled and scream like I'm being attacked all the time. This and is I what... just sit and laugh. You guys ever watch uh, Reach Gaming for uh, Seven Days to Die? Watch Not him. specifically. Uh, he, you might have seen him if you look at a lot of... Um, uh, horde based models and stuff he has a lot of those out but uh, he plays with his fiance which I think is cool because uh, if you can play with your significant other that's awesome but he um, uses her uh, a lot to uh, get killed yes. <laughs> <laughs> add entertainment to the stream <laughs> that's great oh no they're getting her uh, let me go over here and go do this thing mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I designed this new horde base here honey try it out yeah, I'm gonna go oh, into yeah, seen this. You're right. spectator You're right. mode. Seen it. Spectator mode and watch to see how you do. <laughs> oh no, they're tearing down the walls, honey. I can never say that I do that with Chris. I do it. But I can never say that I do. Yeah. Ladybug says it's running smooth on her end. They're going, YouTube had been acting out all week and not just on my channel. I'm glad it's not just me they pick on. 
Metal Storm, devs need to better optimize this game, though I have noticed. Absolutely. They need to go back and do that. And they get, they're they doing the arc thing where they keep adding content, but they're not working on the base performance issues. And they really need to uh, backtrack and go do that, even if it uh, means not adding new content for a little bit. Well, they're probably thinking, oh, nobody has friends. It's not a big deal. <laughs> this whole thing is based on that. Yeah, I know. Even when Chris and I are just playing the two of us, it gets pretty bad sometimes. And we don't build massive builds, you know. We're just basically just checking out whatever the new thing is for the for the week, for the update or whatever. And it's right. still really laggy. Yeah. Empire says, some missions, the map area and size is smaller, bigger, different in various ways. I mean, the beauty of this mission was you finally get the whole map, right? Which... Is really cool. Um, one of the big incentives for me in this one is to actually reveal the whole map and then take a picture of it, which I got scared about actually when I played by myself last, because I looked at the map and it was just I was revealing it all over again. But I looked today, and um, I see the whole thing again where everybody's been. So, yeah, but almost. Uh, Defeated that purpose. Although it's funny where it says Chris is right now. Are you? You're not in the middle of the map, are you, Chris? Um, I am falling through the world. Is what's happening. Okay, that makes sense. They yeah, keep telling me preparing geometry, and then it's got you in the very center of the map where you can't even go in the first place. Where? Like, where did you leave off? Do you remember? Right outside. The base. Yeah, I killed the boar and. No, I'm, I'm just, just going to head over there just in case you have to log out and your stuff gets stuck somewhere. Voyager recovery is all biomes also. Awesome. But that barely came out of the building and then there was another building right there. I, I should have got the connection error too. greater harvesting my hand skill for what I'm doing right now. All right, hopefully that's enough berries for the pies. Let's head back. Regular meat uh, for pie and stew making and the prime. Yeah, all the new cuts go in the drying rack. Seems to be the thing to do. Thanks to Cube Science. I was like, these suck. They're all the same buff. But apparently not. Cyber's over here doing his hunting. I'm gonna come stomping through and scare all this game away. That Bye, I see how it is. That poison effect is great for tracking your, your kill. Sure is. Bacon should go in the rack. Well, the bacon actually gives you a bacon buff. All by its, even if you cook it. All right, first thing of the stream tried to kill me. First attempt, and they failed. I have to do better than that, Wolf. Here, which way am I headed? We have oh. any worm scales? Oh, look in, did you look in the uh, animal product box? Yeah, nothing there. I thought there were some in the crafting bench. Oh, I'll look there. Yep, 
Thank you. Bacon should be its own food group. Yeah. <laughs> In the bacon group. Yeah, I think bacon is the one that gives a buff even if you cook it. Bacon buff. Let's see what do I got down here? I'm eating cooked stringy meat and I got Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, the cooked stringy meats just give me the prime meat buff right now. But the bacon gave me a bacon buff. Which is a great phrase right there. Bacon buff. <laughs> we don't hear that enough. No. <laughs> There's always room for bacon. It's true, though. I, I have a job that I do pretty intense physical labor all day. And if I start the day with bacon... I, it just lasts. It like gets me through. It's like a giant energy buff. And lunch is still essential, but less essential. Oh, hi. Chris, are you coming back in game? I'm trying. Oh, I heard a bear. I figured you were back. <laughs> Probably get mauled about the second I log Oh, in. what's this? There's, oh, this is you working on the uh, mini base. Yes. Uh, I'm like, we get an in-law apartment. It's, um, <laughs> it, it's not terribly architecturally inspired, so uh, if there are any changes that you would like to make, please no. do. No, oh, the mini bases, it doesn't matter. It's just a matter of function. Function. Please. Right, well, let me let me make us a drying rack. Probably need to learn the thing. Tech tree. What is that? Tier one. It is. Probably means I can make it on my person, huh? What does it take? Wood, sticks, and fiber. There's some sticks. There's some wood. Oh man, I cannot fight this bear. You need help? Uh, my, I might. I'm. It's glitching all over the place. Where are you at? Just right you're above not, the base. You're not far. Uh, Chikon's ice skating. Far away. <laughs> Look at him ice skate. <laughs> Must be his fancy suit. Oh, I, I got him. Oh, he's behind the rock. He's running from you. Where the hell's he going? Got him. Yeah, that that was nice. kind of crazy. Like it was on top of me and then it would be over there and then it would be back on top of me and then it was over there yeah we're definitely having performance issues case uh, in point I, w I wonder if we should maybe try changing up host or something maybe that would i think cube has a pretty decent rig and he's got fiber internet Yeah, it's just in in the past when we've tried that, it's uh, it sometimes resulted in much better performance. For me, it was just someone other than me hosting <laughs> did wonders. For me, bear down. What's up, warlord? Crispy bacon, dried game meat, cooked fatty T-bone gives an awesome buff. Sounds good. So there is a drying rack. I don't know how much you can put on one. Let's find out. We've got plenty of space over here. We 
make two easily if we needed. It's got a good amount of room. But then maybe let's make a second, uh, so that we can get this done faster and get on the road. Go get on our adventure, get our exotics. All right, there's two drying racks up here. Try that again. Fill out the space up here, too. All right, how's it going in here? We've got... Yeah, that's still a wine bottle. Make more wine, we need more reed flowers. Boop. Okay, got that going. Now we need to make a uh, more pie. What are we missing? Watermelons. No, the drying racks are not very good looking. The new mission is in a pretty safe zone, so I did it on hardcore, and your stone house took 500 damage in two sto storms, really. So, in hardcore, stone takes damage, huh? Oh, really? Apparently. Is that all we got? Well, you know what? Maybe I may have some flour in the material processor. Nope. Oh. No such luck. Alright, let's make... Uh, Yeah, we're going to need more raw meat. So your fur is in the textile bench, and I made extra heat bandages, and that's also on the textiles bench. Thank you. Let's hold off on the flour. I mean, on the bread. Because we need pie. Pie before bread. some raw stringy meat. Let's put start that putting that on here. Yes, weather will damage stone buildings in the hardcore setting as well. May have been a storm bug because they always create bugs when they update, but my house felt like a wooden house except it didn't burn. <laughs> oh no. Well, I mean, I guess that would give some reason to make concrete. You're still trying to make it back, Sir Garwin? Or you're asking if Chris is still trying to make it back? Since release, I've experienced damage from weather whenever I build in stone. She had to restart. I, uh, I'm still trying to make it back in. I, I landed inside of my rock, but now I can't do anything. Oh, oh. Oh. This. I'm on a mountain somewhere. By the house. Okay. 
Welcome back. <laughs> oh, weird. All right. Yeah. Icarus, come on, man. Get your stuff together. There's some um, anti-poison, six anti-poison pills in the, uh, what's this thing called? The chemistry bench, if anybody needs some. Get the rest of that spoiled meat getting turned Whoa. into that. What the hell? Okay, my character's jam going. Oh, there we go. I just put There's some, some weird stuff in. happening. Awesome. I don't mind uh, trying someone else. Okay now. How is it for you, Cube? Ah, it's about 13, 14. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's rough. I pre planned my movements. <laughs> I'm going to move to that rock and then take a left and move 17 feet to the right. That's right, exactly right. <laughs> and I'm going to wait for that to actually, the game to say I actually did that. Got seven more pastries. I got one more coming. All right, let's make some more. Well, we don't have any vegetable pie yet. Uh, squash, soybeans, and corn. It's corn. And squash. And soybeans. All right, so we're going to make. Eight vegetable pies. So we're just still being slowed down by um, meat. I put some meat in one of the refrigerators. Yeah, I got ten. They don't give you a lot of meat when you kill things. We need a butcher table. Yeah. Not. It's not the... Um, the skinning table, right? It's because that doesn't give you more meat, does it? it right, you... no. But that I'm saying, look, if we had a butcher's table that gave you more meat and maybe less hide, or something yeah. like that instead, that would be a good alternative. Yeah. Because right now, um, an elephant gives you two meat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and a pig gives you like five, which you know, right. makes, makes a lot of sense. Did I add a water connection to the kitchen bench? I did. See this lovely blue tube. Coming down behind it. Um, it actually is lovely because even though it's ugly, it uh, it gives us water in here. Like, I can put my canteen in here now. Like that. And it's pretty slow. But it's actually filling up. I'll come back in a couple minutes. Yeah, you can see, you see it moving. Um, and that's great. It means I don't have to worry about canteens and water and everything when I'm making dough or whatever, which is great. Um, and it also, the fact that you can get water from in your house is amazing. And then the fa added fact that it doesn't have uh, dysentery is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Do you want the meat? Uh, you can put it in this fridge closer to me here yeah. police I'm gonna turn this 10 then into fat 
Parasites literally suck. Yes, <laughs> they do. <laughs> Quite literally. Meat. Well, there's definitely a geometry part to it because as soon as I get in the base, it's it's a slideshow. About four frames per second. That's super fun to play on. Come on, Icarus. Get your game together. Alright, more crust. And then let's get some more wheat, which is ready already. Now, the talent I gave myself, which doubles the amount that you get from crop plots... Uh, I don't think we'll come into play until I actually make more crop plots. It's like built into the crop plots, which is unfortunate for this playthrough. But next one, uh, that would be good. It's forgetting to replant. Are you seeing any animals, or is it just me? None. At all. Me either. My faucet has a Brita filter in it. Better than that. Yeah, micro filter, because uh, Brita, I think, would still let parasites through. Yeah, it definitely would. Ceramic filters don't t take out uh, parasites. No, I certainly want to do it. There's like camping ones. Yeah, but typically you have to have charcoal, don't you? Charcoal is more flavor. Parasites, it? it's about uh, micron size. Hmm, I it has see. to be physically small enough that it's smaller than your parasites. Just out here asking for a bear to attack me, and it's just not. And they won't do it? Mm -hmm. They're like, I won't do it if you want it. It's no fun that way. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Brita filter. Oh, bear got you, Arthek. Congratulations. All right, a little bit more food, and we'll hit the road. There's enough cooked meats in there. We could just survive on that. But there's no point in this uh, this whole adventure making the uh, crop plots the greenhouse if we can't use that to our advantage. Boop. Boop. More meat pie. Meat pie is the most awesomest food in the game right now. enough for one more berry pie I thought I have 12 watermelons on me cool we're um we're good on watermelons oh that's what I'm missing we've got a whole row of watermelons in the thing from the crop plots I should probably go size some wheat down is what I should do. So that's not a uh, bottleneck. I'm making as many prepared meals as I can right now and then we can divvy them up at the end. Alright. But if you need food now, go ahead and take 
cooked meats from the right fridge. Okay, we'll see if our little expedition base survives this flash door. So the dried stringy meat dried already. So that doesn't take too long. Fuel can's getting low. Yep, I see that. Thank you. Did you get that monkey? Have you had any IRL weather effects? Your playthroughs? No. That was only happening when I had a visual connection, a dish that needed a line of sight to a local tower. Um, but now I'm all in cables underground, so weather shouldn't affect my internet anymore. They had told me that rain wouldn't affect my dish, but um, it did. It clearly did. Rally. Meat pies, my missus love it, are to die for. <laughs> Sweeney Todd reference. He said, no wonder I didn't get it. I don't even know what Sweeney Todd is. You guys know what Sweeney Todd is? Yeah. Yeah. It's a musical. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't watch a whole a lot of musicals. It's, uh, it's pretty good, actually. Oh, yeah? He did a musical? Yeah, Tim Burton directed the uh, uh, Sweeney Todd uh, film with um, Johnny Depp. It was, uh, yeah, pretty good. Helen and Bonham Carter, too? Yes, thank you. Yeah. Warlord has Starlink internet. Wow, how's that work? I mean, I know how it works, but how is it working for you? You have all the gigabits? Oh, that's plenty of that's plenty of wheat. The Free Demon Twitter. Barber of Fleet Street. Oh my god. What'd you say, Q? Free Twitter. Oh. Power <laughs> <laughs> link. Yeah, otherwise you gotta pay for yeah. it, right? <laughs> he is gonna free Twitter. All those people will be discriminated discriminated against from their they can't freely put their hate speech on, man. You're gonna liberate them. Here's my armor. Uh, ooh. Well, that needs repairing. Yeah, I didn't even bother with fertilizer in the crop plots, and they're plenty fast enough without it. But there's one more aspect to it, which is putting fertilizer in. Which I'm not doing. Not doing it. Works great. You get 150 megabits per second. For this year, it goes up to 500. Wow, that's really good. Angela Lansbury was the original Mrs. Lovett. Oh, yeah, she she's classic. Man, Johnny Depp, man, I don't want to get into the whole, like, trial thing. It's just one comment on it is, like, he is so less articulate than he is in his movies. I mean, his movies, he's often very quiet anyway, but, oh, my God, you wouldn't know the guy was an actor because, like, he can take some 10 minutes to frame a sentence. I tried to watch some of it. And I was like, this is so slow. Maybe that was his ploy to keep people from watching it, is just to be, like, as boring as possible. But He's got 10 ums per second. I thought that was bad. I think he's being very, very careful about what he says and the, the language that he uses because he knows that it's going to be picked over. Yeah, to the point where he's not getting not any words out. <laughs> That's really <Yeah>. careful. <laughs> 
Yeah, no, I know. He gets way too much scrutiny, but it's just like, okay. What's I gonna do? I was gonna make some stamina paste. Oh, and that takes the reed flowers. I have any left? I do. Yeah, bear. Ladybug knows. You don't want to know what's Watch in the meat pies. One oh. shot. I should upgrade that sickle to platinum. Yeah, too late for that. But it would have been good earlier in the playthrough. I got way more wheat than I needed anyway. Seen where some guy came back from his Twitter ban after Elon bought it with the comment, I'm back, bees. And he was banned again with 24 hours. <laughs> Well, Elon doesn't actually own it yet. That's going to take six months for that deal to go through. You wonder how that could go? Day 11 plus murder trials may not run that long. Yeah, well, this is just a uh, punch in the face trial. I didn't punch you. I hit you. <laughs> It's interesting hearing the stuff that is coming out. Uh, I think you know, people have formed a very different opinion from before the trial. But of course, we've still to get um, Heard's testimony, which might change things again. So we just don't know. Yeah, I, oh. have, I haven't been super following it. Yeah. I have to say, it's, uh, it's been a lot more interesting than most of their films. <laughs> wow! Burn. You need some uh, realism, my, some you know, realism I, uh, in it. You're like, you guys uh, ever I, consider making a snuff film? <laughs> uh, I, got, I, I confess to, to quite liking uh, Johnny Depp. I know I was, uh, shall we say, rather disappointed when um, the, the story first came out. But it, it seems that was, shall we say, incomplete. Right. Well, most media. What? You, you found one-sided media? No way. <laughs> yeah, well, quite, yes. Um, I, you know, the, the British media in particular have a very poor reputation. Uh, it's so funny because the, they're usually into being so precise and exact and everything. Right. right. I mean, integrity in journalism is at the height of its... Where, where it's ever been, right? The Secret Garden yeah. was his snuff film. <laughs> Twitter is finally getting an edit button. Yeah, but they were already doing that. They made sure to make, point out that that was happening not because of him. Depth trials being dragged out for social media. OJ didn't have this kind of coverage. <laughs> his his car chase did, though. <laughs> that was the best yeah. part of That was the best part of the whole... Uh, OJ scenario was the car chase or the slow drive down the freeway with the wide SUVs with like a whole fleet of cop cars slowly driving behind it. <laughs> that was classic. He's in control now, Twitter? Really? I would think the deal has to finish first. Hey, Lucky Phil. Good day. On day three after your surgery, going okay. Fantastic, man. That's the best news. All day. I'm really glad that that's going well for you. Let's put these in here. Um, let's see. Let's make sure to grab these before I forget about them. Oh, they're still making. Stamina pace. All right. Do we have any more meats? We do. Got a little bit. Let's put the T bones. Could be cooked or dried. Let's see what happens when we dry them. Boop. All right, and what do we need to make more meat pies? We're probably out of um, pastries. Excuse me. Uh, let's turn the rest of this meat. Well, let's turn half of it into fat. Hey, 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 hey. Give me that. Give me that back. Well, I'm a liar. Uh, <laughs> I guess it's a glitch, 
but I'm able to craft the new bench. Oh, okay. So it's uh, next to textiles if you want to check it out. Make us some things. Hmm. We got some fat. I can make some candles. Rustic decor crafting bench. That cuts into our pie budget, though. We need yep. more meat. I just made a little. Oh, let's let's spare a little fat. Where'd my fat go? Oh, I have some on me. All right, here. Spare three fat. How much does it take? Oh, six fat. Gosh darn it. All right, have all my fat. Fine. All right, what do we got in here? A new rustic decor crafting bench. We've got a rustic bench, rustic bookshelf, rustic cabinet. Why are these all rustic? Candles, coffee table, three-seater couch you can't sit on, two-seater couch you can't sit on, dining room chairs and armchairs you can't sit on, nightstand, pot, stool, tables, regular and large and round, wardrobe, narrow wardrobe, bed, and uh, Icarus statue, and dresser. Are they going to have another wave of furniture that's not rustic? Is that why they're making sure to call them all rustic? Yeah, I'm not sure. I hope so. Maybe give us the ability to sit and stuff. OJ I mean, built court TV. <laughs> true story. Johnny okay. Cochran built it. Uh, were you able to craft, uh, Monkey? Oh, I didn't try it. There was, there was sticks missing. I just put the... Oh. Uh, Candle I crafted the, the rustic bookshelf, which. Um, oh yeah. I yeah. Agree. Well, I wanted to find out if it had an inventory, like it, whether it would be usable, uh, and it it sort of does, but it's only got ten slots. Not so. All the storage is considerably less. Yeah. So right. there's there's no reason to craft it over like a regular cupboard or something. Aside oh, from well, the bed well, takes and the candle. That. Okay. Aside from the bed and the candle, the rest is all decorative. They said something about making bear stew in the rustic pot, but I don't believe it. Oh. That I did not try. It would be rustic bear stew. Well, we'll have to try that, won't we? Mm -hmm. Let me find some sulfur. Right, let's see. Deploy these somewhere. You never put things on the kitchen stuff. Let's put it here. Oh, and they still take fuel. Ooh. Yeah. But they're a yeah. great light source. I thought so, at least. Right, let's put some fuel. And the nice. beds are nice. Oh yeah? Oh, you Can you use the beds? Yeah. Stuff? Here, that's with my lantern turned off. They're not blue. Uh, nope, but the rustic beds. pot does absolutely nothing. Oh, so, boo. That was, a, that was a waste of five sulfur. <laughs> <laughs> stick it back in the bench. You Keep probably wouldn't it. want to put candles on the pot belly stove, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> hey, those are nice and homey. Kind of lights it up pretty well. Yeah. Oh, that's, uh, oh, that's, yeah, that's quite pleasant. Hey, we need a thing to put the last candle on. We'll make the rustic stool. Candles work in caves. Just put down a few. You have your settings so you can see in the caves. <laughs> you know, Sir Garwin says, that's like why it. I won't talk politics on any multimedia platform. I can guarantee they won't like what I got to say. They'll ban you in a heartbeat. Yeah? Well, you're a mod. Just ban yourself here, Sir Garwin. <laughs> Statue is nice, but the wall-mounted version kind of hovers off the wall. We need snakeskin and bearskin rugs. We do. 
They even kind of flicker. They do. Notice that. Uh, let's see. Let's put this down. Put the candle on that. To get myself uh, late, actually. Is there a... Yeah, there's lanterns and whatnot in the... um. Yeah, I'm trying to remember where the biofuel thing is. Is it upstairs? No, downstairs, bottom floor. Yeah, so that's oh, all there. just with candles. Yeah, it's kind of uneven like candles would be too. Uh, a lot, lot of shadows. The lamp. Uh, there's a lantern left, but I'll leave that for somebody else. Uh, I don't mind the uh, the, the lamp. I think some people find it drives them crazy, but... It only drives me crazy when you look at me when it's on. <laughs> Otherwise, we're good. Okay, let's put nails and things away. Uh, Alright. This is going to take a while, so I'm going to start making food pretty soon, and we'll just use what we got. Should be enough food all together to get us there and back. Uh, no, I wanted to do half that. Yeah, at least we have some decoration items. Yeah, because remember when we did the uh, condos and we were trying to decorate them? And we found out that we were sorely lacking, really. Um, so, yeah, the more of that kind of stuff, the better. For all us RP folks. Oh yeah, there's the bookshelf. Yeah. Now they gotta make us books. Put on there. Is that coming for? Oh yeah, all that flower I was making over here. So let's make our, uh, did we make that fat? Oh, did we use all our fat? Okay. We did. So let's just make a bunch of dough with the rest of the flour we got. And we'll make some I bread. left some, sorry, I left some um, animal fat in the, um, the biofuel stove. I think that oh. was nine. I don't know if you got that. Um, I probably used it already. Thank you. Okay. That's five more meat pies. And one more berry pie. Oh, no. More berry pies. Okay. All right. We got a little bit of vegetable pie. And we got some more dough being made. Um, let me change out the biofuel container for the stove. And then let me get my lights fueled up while I'm in here. Ooh. Yeah, we didn't really bother to light up the base <laughs> this time because we all have light hanging from our, our belt. Um, yeah, there's considerably less incentive to use the standing torches now. Yeah. Although it seems like all kinds of light affect uh, people's frame rate. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that will do because um, it has to... I mean, if you're using ray tracing, it will have to ray trace the light, but uh, even if you're just using the regular DX11, it will have to. It, it adds load because it has to simulate that light falling on objects, so. Yeah. Lots of light sources will drop the frame rate pretty rapidly.
All right, so with a little bit more time, I could get even more pies going. It's going to be what it's going to be. Otherwise, this will just be like an entire baking episode. What are we missing here for me to make more of these? Why is it not giving me the option? Max. Earthcraft. What's happening here? Oh, we gotta clear the queue. That's what's going on. Okay. I'm gonna make some pumpkin bread. Because why not? I wish they would upgrade this game to Unreal Engine 5. Good luck. <laughs> I, wish. I wish it too. Can you put candles on the bookshelf? I have no idea. Let's find out. Probably not. And uh, that would be a recipe for a fire IRL. But also putting it on the pot belly stove is a recipe for a meltdown. Oh, yeah, he can. Oh, let's your place. Or that. Yeah, there we go. Oh, so I guess they've. Right, okay, they've. They've built it so that you can do that. Yeah, I mean, we're going to catch this shelf on fire, but <laughs> it's okay. I don't know. It looks like it, they've made it. So You're going to call Martha Stewart soon? Hey, man, if she'll collab with uh, Snoop Dogg, she should collab with me, right? Um... Yeah, funny enough, the limiting ingredient in the pies was just regular meat. Mm, animals appear to have disappeared. Yeah, animals have disappeared, and they uh, they haven't been fed enough, I guess, because they're all kind of stringy. I have to place these things in order. <laughs> it's important to me. <laughs> okay, get all that back in there. Got another load of meat pies to drop off. And then, uh, yeah, as soon as this stuff is finished cooking, I'm ready to head on. I don't know. How's the mini base design? Uh, well, it's <laughs> it's outside. <laughs> it's it it's out. ready to go. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I need to uh, pull it down and pack it into an inventory, but uh, it, it's there. Cool. Let's go check it out and be really critical. Hey, Nicholas Morgan. Catch it live for once. Are we all in this area still? Can we sleep? Or maybe we should just wait till we're ready to hit the road. Yeah, I can sleep. Oh, look at you. You got some concrete, some glass, some stone. That's supposed to be there. I'll get rid of that. A fireplace. Hmm. Very nice. So, oh, oh, I like I this shape for the overhang. Yeah, it it also gets around that you know the really annoying placement of the um, uh, half pieces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, we don't have to have to be fighting with those in the Arctic with no. polar bears wandering around. We just want to get the thing up before a storm hits. And also, the half ramp only goes one direction. It's not you can't. It's not unidirectional or multi-directional. You can't, um, it's only on one half of the piece block. You can't flip it. 
Well, very good. All right, let's take it apart and pack it up. Okay. So you think that there's weight uh, for one one person can carry that, or does it got to get it divvy? It should be possible. Um, I hadn't actually... I, I decided to add the concrete because um, it has... Although it's weaker, technically, than the stone, it has a, a rating of 13 for heat, uh, where glass is basically zero. So okay. the glass effectively, the glass panels effectively weigh next to nothing, um, which is great for you know carrying a base around. Um, they will not retain any heat whatsoever. So I thought, well, if we add the concrete, maybe that will offset it a little bit, and we'll get you know some benefit from that. But I don't know. This is all untested. We'll need to try it in the Arctic and see how it does. All right, all, all the, the, all the food is cooked. Let me put it in here, and we'll uh, we'll divvy up. Don't take any yet. What are you doing? I'm divvying my share. Wait a minute. Stop messing with things. Put it all in there, and then we'll divvy it. All right. So how many of this of us are here? There are uh, five of us, and there's 21 yeah. pies. So, okay, we get uh, four Ooh. meat pies each, and um, uh, like th almost three fruit pies each, and 1.6 uh, vegetable pies each. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah. Anyway, just just take what you think is reasonable. Did you make any dried white meat? I let me see. Wow, that sounds horrendous. I know. Um, let me see. Let me just take some of those. But it does give I put it all the other kinds of meat. There's dried stringy meat, and there's dried fatty T-bone. We didn't have any white meat to dry yeah. since we did that. Um, and there's a bunch of bread. There's enough for um, eight pieces of bread each, I think. Wow. G-Con really didn't like his structure. He's just tearing it up out there. And uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, there's pumpkin bread. A lot of different meat or foods here. Try some of this dry stringy meat. And then we're actually doing good on fatty T bones. So we got a lot of different foods here. Alright. You guys take what seems reasonable. Divide the rest what's left into fours, because I got my fifth. And yeah, I've got a whole row of food going on here. Got heat bandages. I don't know. I probably should grab like a some some regular bandages, some suture kits, um, a sleeping bag each, and a fireplace or two. Eh? Well, not a fireplace, campfire, but we do have the the mini base coming with. Did we make any more um, flint arrows? Uh, yeah, I think they're in. Oh. Um, okay, so I topped off my stack of a hundred. Really in the machining bench. Oh, and there's wine too. Oh, and uh, stamina paste. Stamina paste is in the herbalism bench. So. I'll take the wine. How do we repair armor? <laughs> you got to do it in the um, textile in, in the in the textile bench. Yeah. So I find it lasts long enough, but we actually probably should take the textile bench with us because we're gonna need to make um, polar bear armor when we get there, or a textile yeah. bench with us. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway. 
Okay, yeah, that whole base comes apart and comfortably can be carried by one person. Yeah, so make sure to grab yourself some stamina paste and some wine. Uh, so where did you put stuff? Is it in like one of the kitchen benches? Not all candles will burn down bookshelf, Sir Garwin. <laughs> Hopefully these are the ones that won't. What you what were you asking them? Uh G Con? Stamina, oh, sorry, I was asking. Stamina oh, paste thanks. is in the herbalism bench and um wine is in the uh, kitchen bench. Okay, how many bits of fruit pie did we get? Um I think three of us got food already, is that right? I got mine. Cube, cube did oh. you get yours? Not yet, no. Okay. Uh, I'm so divide what's see. left in the box into thirds. Alright, I think I'm just going to make a new textile bench to bring with us. Um, was that here? You get the second drill bit built? Uh, G con I'm sorry. Did you build the second drill? I couldn't remember. Oh right. Okay, I'll uh, make it. I'll make it right now. MP did that. Or I will. I'm. I'm doing do it. I just need some iron. Do, do we have any iron? Uh, we should have. I think. Um, keep it's, I found it's in the machining the... bench. Yes. There's a bunch of bullets in the machining bench, people. Take bullets. I've got plenty. Yeah, I, I, I made a load before uh, the stream started. So. Crafted the extractor. Oh, you know what we need is a bunch of fuel, right? I've got four cans. Uh, I can probably take one or two more. So be a good. All right, I got the thing on my back. I was going to make the heater, but. I'm I'm not sure it's worth it. Uh, no. When Cube and I used it, we were like, mm, meh. The, the, the campfire did better. Okay, no, we'll leave that. Cube, didn't you say there were heat bandages somewhere? In the textile bench. bench. I want to get a bunch of fiber because there's none in the Arctic and it may come in useful. That's a good I've idea. I've got three bundles of 200 on me. Oh, nice. Nice. Thinking ahead? Good? Yes. <laughs> Trying. And a couple hundred uh, sticks. Oh, ooh. Um, wood for the fire. Uh, I'll just grab some of that. Okay, no, that puts me overweight. Uh, could somebody maybe grab a stack of wood? I got sure. a few. Sweet. Thank you, Sir Garwin. Ooh, getting excited. Um, I'm just going to take a, a, a quick bio break if that's okay. Uh, no! No. <laughs> and. <laughs> we want yellow snow. We'll get there faster. Right? <laughs> no, I'm going to need to do that myself. Are we going to radar it? Back in two. Uh, we do have a radar. Might as well use it. Yeah. Hey, Cube. Mm hmm Unless you absolutely need it, could you turn your light off? Is my light on? It was off. Mine was on. Oh. Yep, sorry, it was monkey. Just kidding. I am the light. 
Oh yeah, and this is probably a good time to repair any tools or weapons, right? Yep. Make sure your oxygen tanks are full. We could make one more extractor, is that worth? No. Got ten suture kits, ten bandages. So, should I bring fiber? Uh, I can get fiber quickly if need be. Um, I got way too much food on me. There's one more anti-poison pill if anybody wants it. And uh, don't forget there's those um, stamina pastes and wine. And there's still some meat pies and fruit pies and dried fatty T-bones and vegetable pies in the fridge and bread, pumpkin bread. Did everybody get food? I did. Yep. Yeah. Did anybody not get food? So I'll just grab the rest and bring it with if nobody's going to grab them. I'll be the walking larder. I have got, some extra weight too if you are too heavy. You got food, Cyber? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you for asking. Alright. Well, I am the walking pantry of food if anybody needs some. <laughs> I'm going to end up 300 pounds at the end of this uh, adventure. Let's see. Let's put the warm stuff on. All right, I guess i got to take this stuff off. Boop, 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 boop. Let's put this in here. Boom. Mm. Okay. Good to go. That's a lot of food. <laughs> a lot of food. All right, guys. I'm going to leave you looking at this lovely homey kitchen with the flickering candle. I'm going to go take a bathroom break. And I'll see if we're ready to go when I get back. Be right back.
down now, bullet. So I'm back. Um, now Sir Garland reminded us for bed rolls. Did we make uh, bed rolls? I don't think we did. We need five bed rolls. I can carry those if needed. Alright, could you make them at least and then we'll figure it out. And then I just remember what I didn't make was um textile bench. For making polar bear armor. Econ, could you do that? I can't craft anything in that base right now. I can I can make it. Okay. It's filling up my oxygen bottle, which I almost forgot to do as well. Um, I actually don't know that I learned the textile bench. Let's see. That's a tier 2 thing, right? Um, so I can make it. And polar bear armor is going to take leather, polar bear pelt, and rope. We'll probably get the leather on the way, but we should make a bunch of rope. We're going to need 6 times 5 times 5, so... Uh, 30 times 5, 150 rope. Right, where's the textile bench? There it is, just need some stone. That's cool. It actually shows both nodes. Oh, really? Well, you put the radar down already? Oh, yeah, look at that. You can go that way, you can go that way. Okay, there's that. And then rope. Got any rope made? I don't see any there. It's four there. Um, let's see, let's get rope making here. Goes out. Boop. And then how about take that, and we'll get rope making here as well. Did you guys see I had actually uh, plumbed the cement mixer and the biofuel maker? No. Oh. That's awesome. It's cool that that's an option. I didn't notice if it helped or not. Yeah, that's, I'm curious about that. If it's speed or quantity that it gives. How many um, biofuel cans do we have with on us now? I have four. I have I've two. Got, I've got two. That's more than enough. Yep. Okay. It's but roughly 91 per can. I've got, I've got one. Put this back. I'll bring one stack that'll make sure we have enough. And then it's just a matter of this rope making and then we're good to go. We do have a textile bench, so we could make more when we get there. If need be. I'm uh, just wondering if... Um We should go to the entrance from K13, because I think uh, it's a shorter distance in the Arctic. We're dressed uh, for the Arctic and prepped for the Arctic. Plus, we want polar bears, so. Yeah. We want them. Well, no, I don't think getting polar bears will be a problem. <sighs> you do realize I'm with you, right? <laughs> you couldn't get anything to attack you earlier when you wanted to. But there are to. no animals. I don't know what's going on. Uh, well, well, I guess it's because they knew you wanted them to. <laughs> that would be disappointing to go all the way there and find there's no polar bears. And also, I want my bear stew that the devs promised. That's... Uh, kind of I funny. know that's false advertising, isn't it? Oh, 
Oh, uh, yeah, Cube and I just obviously had the same idea as check on the generators before we go. It turns out that they're fine. I just I, did uh, that. I just did that. I gave them a pop up when I logged in. Awesome, yeah, I saw they weren't in bad shape. They they hadn't really hadn't used very much fuel at all. I just thought, you know, what the hell? Reset the counter on them and that gives us uh, as much time as possible. Metal Storm assures us the composter is considerably faster with the water connection. We did notice that the um, concrete concrete generation was much faster. Uh, yeah. What did you say, Cube? Pull your knife out. Notice something funny? Oh, they fixed the. There's a big bone nice sticking out of it. Thing. No, is it I'm stuck in his wrist? In first person, I'm holding it with the blade down. But when I go to third person, it flips it the other way. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I look yeah. at you, I was like, how is he holding his knife like that? And then I went to third person. I was like, oh, I'm doing it too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, let's pretend I'm flipping it really quickly between views. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let me see. I thought we were going to head towards... Um, Oh, we're going to go to 012? Is that where we're going? Sure. It's either 012 or K13. I thought K13 might be easier because there's... I mean, you can go to 012. It's just I'm looking at the maze of crappy rocks and stuff. It's five of us with guns and full armor. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's the it's all the rocks and stuff on the way down there, whereas uh -huh. it's pretty much a straight shot down to uh, M12 and skirt the side of that lake. Anyway, just, I'll, um, I'll seems easier. I do. I was spoiled where the node is, and um, yeah. Do you want me to tell you or? <laughs> I already know. You already know too. So there'll be less Arctic. If we go to K13, but there'll be more more polar bears on the way if we go to O12. So probably, I'd vote for O12. Okay. I vote more bears myself. Yeah. Well, let's go. Let's go. It's only noon. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> yeah. I don't think That's I've ever one. had a trip where I've left before noon, even though we try to leave it like. Okay, we're well, leaving at we six in the morning. And then we've uh, got lamps. Oh, did someone bring beds? Oh, um, no, no. <laughs> okay, we're not oh. leaving yet. Then. <laughs> Who was making beds? Yeah, you, you were. don't get. I was. You don't get, uh, yes, leather. I was making the textile bench. Regular fur from polar bears. So but I'll yeah. go make beds. I'm on it. And I'll grab. Yeah, I can't craft in there. It's four frames per second as soon as I enter the building. Wow, what did you do with those extra three frames? We need five. <laughs> yes, please. You got it. I killed the bear already, Chris. You're good. Nice. Oh, it, it must have known we were leaving. <laughs> yeah, animals have appeared, so... That's all good. And I made a campfire. Okay. I'm getting a head start because my this character seems to be a little slow. Uh, I was doing some stuff on my alt, and I was like, the run speed difference was dramatic. Interesting. Um, so I I really need to respect this character. All right, we're off. For realsies. The guy you play with has a character named Chew Toy. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. He 
You're currently in spirit spirit walk also. I'm going to resist my urge to gather on the way. Not doing it. Did I get my... Yeah, I got oxygen. I got water. Did I bring any beer? No, we brought wine. Hopefully everybody grabbed theirs. Alright, where are we going? Boop, boop, boop. Oh, Towards the lovely the blue stamina first. bar from the meat pie. <gasps> yeah, forgot about that. Well, I didn't eat my meat pie. Let's do it. And then also, there's... One the stamina regen paste and the wine should give uh, Oh, I forgot stamina. to pick any of that up. Oh, well. Yeah, Chris probably does well as leopard bait as well, but I think she's particularly bear bait. But I don't know, with all this food I'm carrying, you think I'd be bait at this point. That would be a cool detail if that was actually, you know, built into the game. And you have to make like a bear canister like you need to have when you go hiking. Color my own green. Choose cube. I recognize you by the rig on your back. Bear spray. I have this pee on stuff. It'll scare them all away. Yeah, man, with uh, those foods and the stamina regen and the the wine, I can run pretty much without stopping. But they don't last very long. Let's try that again. Boop, boop. Yeah, one minute. It's a pretty good minute, though. Yeah, so this mission has no reward, but we're going to come back with exotics from all three nodes. And you can trade exotics for rocket bucks now, right? Yep. I think I think there is five. Yeah. Um. I wouldn't do it. No? no is, it, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it a ripoff? You, you'll be exotics poor before you're cash poor. Yeah. The pickaxe, so I ended up, I bought the Anaris. It was 1400 total at exotics to learn and equip. Jeez. Wow. That's the best one? Yeah. A miner's dream, it says, but it's a, a miner's nightmare. Why? It has the same durability as a stone pickaxe. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. It's one of the reasons I don't get big on all the bot items is because... 
They're all temporary. You can't repair any of them. Bear, bear on your left. We're gonna ignore it and leave it for Chris, or? Okay, I, I run through there. That gunshot means no. Okay. It's dead. Hey, pig, it's not your fight. Hey, get away. All right, if you're volunteering to be bacon. Sorry if I just shot you. <laughs> Miss the bear and shoot, Chris. It'd be just her luck. The last hall was 901 idea. exotics. Nice. Well, they definitely they nerfed all the exotics now uh, because you can buy the crafting packs or the repair packs. Yeah, I think that was done in lockstep with that. Oh, really? So you can buy a pack to repair the space station stuff? Yeah. How much do they cost? Uh, 50, 100 to learn, 100 exotics, and 50 to, to buy. I hear a bear, it sounds like it's in your direction. That's probably it, dead now. Uh, nope, not yet. I see it though. Oh, you get five repair kits and a bundle for that? Oh, that's pretty good. And does it 100% repair any space station thing? I would hope so. I guess it's a bundle of five for armor. The Anaris does reduce encumbrance by 50%. And added to the red pack, I can carry 1,300 plus in ores. Nice. Yeah. That's nice for that, that's for sure. All right, I'm going to wait and group up with everybody here at the entrance. Bear behind you? Yep. Okay. Please. Yeah, there was a bear ahead. There it is. First polar they bear. Left. They left. Oh. There he comes. Oh, actually behind us. No? Nice. He's down. down. Oh, uh, take the water bottles off your, um, out oh, of yeah, your right. slots. But to repair the workshop items, you need either a machining bench or a fab bench. Not surprising. Oh, now I'm heavy already. Has anybody got weight? Yeah, I got weight. Let me see. Let me sort by what's heaviest. Um, here, you want a campfire and some wood? Oh yeah, let me take that off. Here, put it down here. All right, polar bears, come at us. I need to go get my sunglasses. I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> this is bright. You want to take a reading? Sure, let's do it. Who's got the radar? Overwatch here. Uh, 
I'm still seeing... Oh, it's going to take a minute, right? Because I'm still seeing the one back at base. Yeah. And in the meantime, hopefully some bears have spawned. It takes a lot of bears to clothe one person. There's Scanning. one behind us. We should have um, plenty of time to hunt. It's going to take a little while to Ooh. drill the exotics. Goodness. That's close. Do you have a better knife than the cave worm knife cube? I do not. Right. I've got a platinum knife. You're too far away. And platinum's Ooh. 150. What's the skin uh, of It's 200. Oh, okay, never mind. I was thinking something else. So. I can, well, I can run The cave back, worm knife is uh, 175. Not too much worse. Uh, well, I'm running back if you want me to. Too late. Okay. All right, yeah, it's pointing towards like M14. Which, as planned, we're taking the long run around the Arctic so we get more bears. So, is this the only place they spawn now? Or. Yeah. Yes. This one little crescent of Arctic? Yeah. It's kind of limited. Are we checking out caves while we're here? Or? Uh, no need, really, right? What were you hoping the to off. get? Well, it's the off chances. Um, the Exotics. Exotic oh. Right. Might be a good idea on the way back. Sure. Bitch. I brought my thatch ramps in case I fall in one, because I always do. <laughs> <laughs> Cyber, uh, Sir Garwin is asking if you're reading the stream chat as well as being in voice. I uh, I can't. Um, I can't leave any of my Chrome tabs open at all. If I do, I get about five frames per second. Found the bear. Oh, minus. I've missed him completely. I don't know. And he's standing still. I wonder if... Uh, yeah, it's a glitch. Lagging. You got, you got to move up on him. And then Thank I'll you, turn Sir Garland, for killing that. There he is. Oh, they can move fast when they want to. Are you here, um, Vicon? Yeah. Want to skin this well, guy? Uh, You're way up there. Uh, that's okay. It's not far too. <coughs> We're, we're Cyber's got it. What did you want to ask him, Sir Garwin? I can relay. You gonna switch to lurk mode? All right, man. Thank you for hanging out. Thanks for killing the bots. Fine, I didn't want to hear your message. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, I think he was maybe worried about someone uh, killing bots. If there's no I'm, other mods, I'm not a Sir moderator. Garland, I could get it. You're what? I'm not a moderator. Oh, you're not. Never gave you the power. Have, clearly, I can't be trusted with this sort of thing. I'm just no, saying. you would abuse it for sure. 
I mean, I had admin on Seven Days to Die in like what seven minutes, and I ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> Spawning in refrigerators and stuff. And I have to say, it was worth it. Seems pretty bare light so far. Yeah, although I mean, I'm doing fine for again? for temperature, so. But it's not a storm. Let's see what the dried stringy meat gives me. I hear a bear. Dried stringy meat buff. Okay. Must be behind us then. It was hard to tell where it was coming from. Yeah, no, I got it, Sir Gowan. I'm fine. It's easy enough. I just don't like to take the fun away from you guys. It's like a in-chat game, you know? Kill the bots. If you want me to, I could grab my uh, laptop and set it up right here, and I can moderate that way. Oh, no, it's fine. Need you focused here so we don't get eaten by bears. What bears? I know. <laughs> That's the problem. Should uh, we take another scan? Hmm? Oh. Should we take another scan? Yes. Sure. Absolutely. Oh, bear. Here we go. Maybe that's a trick. Put the scanner down. It might be a thing. Why is that not dying? It's going to glitch, glitch again. Jesus. He's down. Uh, well, I actually have the inventory space for for that. Has anyone go? Give me some of your weight. I can take some. It's not weight that's the issue. It's um, inventory slots because oh, okay. I'm carrying, carrying the base. Yes, but I, I have spots and weight right now to spare. All right, Sir Garwin. Sorry, it took me another a minute to rechat when you got here. Metal Storm says this diet polar bear region. <laughs> it is pretty light today. Oh, bear counts. All right, we got our reading. Oh yeah, we're honing in. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. So it's gonna be somewhere like here. And we're gonna be just in time to put that shelter down and get through the night. Mine exotics through the night and leave in the morning. Well, it might it might be two nights. No. You're with two uh, extractors? No, it'll be quick. Yeah, take care, Sir Garwin. Uh, let's see, let's eat some bread. I sure I just heard a polar bear. Yep. And some bacon. Oh, we're gonna need some pie. There he is on the ridge. Done. Man. Oh crap. Uh hypothermia. Yeesh. How'd you get that? Oh, because you're wearing that fancy armor. Yeah. Yeah, it's not it's a fur armor unfortunately. Do you need a heat bandage? I brought some with me. Um, Do you have a better knife? Might with you? not work terribly well, no. No. Not until not until I get indoors. So No, I just have the cave worm one. Okay, 
Yeah, so it could be anywhere here, guys. Just keep your oh, eyes peeled. Oh gosh, I've I've found it completely where I didn't expect to. Already, I found it. You found it? <laughs> Is it up here? Does this kill your frames if I turn my light on, Cyber? No, it's fine. I really, I'm, pr I'm fairly certain it's the bases. I don't know what it is. Too many polygons or something. All right. Well, here it is. The fancy node. You going to throw your thing down? Uh, I thought you should put the extractors down first, maybe. Okay. No, you okay. can put them through the frames. Yeah, I just thought it would be easier to position the base so that we're making sure they're inside the... Uh... Oh, it's doing that thing where it's snapping to... That's why I usually do it first. I put the frames down first. Like, I, I'll map out where the two drills go, and then I put the frames down and put the drills through them. Come on. I can pick it up if you want. No, it's fine. It's just... You have the Inaris knife? That thing is sweet? Awesome. That's next on my list. We can all swing here. Yeah. All right, we got two of these going. Getting cold. Remember when we used to be afraid of polar bears? Yep. <laughs> Back in the day. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna pull the middle bit out just for immersion. So we can see the glowy bits. The Naris knife stops a wolf from wounding you. Really? Where's the... Wait a bit. There it is. T-bones. Oh! Oh, crap. Um... Right, okay. This is a piece. Not to worry. We'll improvise. If you throw it on the fireplace, I'll get it lit so you stop taking damage. Yep. Yeah, I'm just gotta throw it down the. Um... Oh, I think I, I gave you the wood, Saber. Yes, I have wood. Uh, oh. Family show. Got it. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> right. Let's, uh, let's try that heat bandage again. Hundred percent chance to avoid any injury an injury except for bears. Oh, that's awesome. Let's call us for wine. Oh yes. Have a wine. Although it's better to save it for uh, when you're running. It doesn't really matter. It does give you some water. Oh, there's the door. Gotta give him a chance. Shit. Okay. Got a shot of the hypothermia, so we can put the other pieces up.
There's a nice little base. You can watch the polar bear come charging at us. That was uh, that was part of my reasoning actually for for the glass was you'll just see the polar bears coming. <laughs> um, so I chose that over the aluminium, uh, which was the same weight, but had a it actually had a better um, heat protection thing than the glass. The glass, the glass. Oh crap! That's in the wrong place. Uh, the glass is effectively just rubbish for insulation. Oh, going AFK. Okay. Let's set a spawn. We don't really want to pass through the night, do we? Because then we'll use up the daytime while we're extracting. I was just trying to set my spawn and hit the wrong button. So how much do we think we're going to get from this? I'm gonna say 207. So we're looking at each of these getting about 100 each. So I'm just getting a sense of the timing, how long it's gonna take. Maybe a little prices right here, closest one wins. <laughs> I think uh, 199. glass if I can't place these half pieces. 200 to 400 per node? Wow. Uh, that depends. This node is 180 to 220. What does it uh, depend on? Which node it is and which mission it's on. Oh yeah? Monkey, have you got a trick for these half pieces? Because they're being a pain in the uh, where are you trying to put him? Yeah, you uh, need you need the... you need the helper ceiling. Yeah, I'm trying that, but it's uh, it's actually not it's not working this time. Typically, it worked fine when we put the base up outside uh, your place. Uh, yeah, can I give you yeah this... pieces because. Yeah, for sure. I'll just drop them here. Yeah, I put the ceiling, and then um, if I, I just point at the uh, the helper ceiling, just on oh, the edge. You, oh, you do it from inside. Oh, yeah, yes. you got to do it from inside. Yeah. Um, you should only need to do it for the the glass. Area that the concrete won't need it. All right. Well, what about symmetry? <laughs> so where do they all go? They. Well, I have uh, five more, but I only see two more places we need it. Yeah. Um. There's. I also had you know the little corner square bits. Uh huh. Which. Technically, shouldn't be needed because the the overhang, front and back, will yeah. protect the glass. But I, I just I th had them in. I think it actually looks better without them. Because otherwise, they were sticking out kind of far. Mm. Yeah, but it took me a while to figure out that it works from inside. I was just finding they're just such a pain because they're. they're they're inconsistent, mm. and yeah, they just won't. From never seem to want to go where you need them. This way, it's really easy. Okay. 
Check it out. Maybe we should set the spot. Thank you for bringing the badge. Was that, was that you, Chris? Yeah, it was me. Thank you for that. No problem. Uh, I'd completely forgotten about them, so... There's some, um, cooked meats in the fireplace if anybody needs any. Ooh, yes, please. I'm gonna drop this, uh, campfire just for storage here. And I'm gonna put these, uh, extra building pieces in it. Yeah, I managed to bring some extra foundations somehow, so I'll drop those in as well. Just in case they're needed. I have a building upgrade tool on me in case you uh, want to upgrade any of this stuff. <laughs> we don't have a masonry bench, so it would be a wee bit stuffed. Huh? Oh, actually, uh, uh, I need uh, help. Uh oh. Where are you? Right outside. <laughs> Ooh, base looks rather nice from it. It's got a kind of that lovely blue glow inside. Yeah, that's why I like to take that little piece out. That looks rather that blue cool. Glow, yeah, it does look very good, man. Good job. Thank you. Well done. Yeah, and I like the little upside down sloped triangle bit. That's the solution for that overhang. Yeah, it's just uh, it's a lot easier than fiddling around with those half pieces and of course the half pieces don't really work for uh, the, the triangle because you don't have a yeah so I'm glad you just uh, find that much easier. sacrificed yourself cube instead of uh, letting him chew on our glass balls yes that's that is the downside to this whole design is it's definitely not polar bear proof well Stone would only take like one more chomp anyway. Yeah, and there is there is concrete that you can hide behind. Uh, that only takes one more chomp. <laughs> so yeah. There's no such thing as uh, animal-proof buildings here. There should be something super expensive that you could hide in. At well, I was really hoping that the aluminium would be, um, you know, a good, good strong piece, but it, you know, it just looks terrible. It just looks like that awful corrugated iron. It's not much stronger than wood. Yeah. No. It looks like but there's a gonna... little rave going on in here. <laughs> <laughs> Should get my uh, get my light on and see. Mm. Oh yeah, that's that's really quite terrible, isn't it? <laughs> How many did you get from the first node cube? Ah, uh, no, oh, it is three hundred ish. I think. Actually, closer to 400. Actually, we didn't bring a, a storage box. I wonder if... We won't need uh, it. Is the key to get rid of the HUD? Oh, that was nine. Let's make a little picture. Of our ambiance here. Oh, 
Not nearly as good with my lamp on. I noticed in, um, I haven't had it happen here, but I noticed in the other biomes, uh, on some occasions the animals will actually attack the drills if they're not protected by building. They'll attack it even if it is. I had one chew through a building that I left alone. Yeah, I did have a pig try to do that. Um, yeah, so the best sort of kept an eye on. So yeah, this is the slow bit, guys, while we just wait for these things to do their thing. At least we have two drills this time. The one other time I did this, we only had one. Yeah. I, wasn't, I wasn't in a hurry then, though. I mean, we could sleep and then use the daytime to explore the area, look at any caves and stuff like that. Hot polar bears. Sorry, Bullet, did you want to rodeo that? Oh, I got it. Good. Didn't mean to, uh, steal your yeah, thunder. Yeah, and steal my thunder, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Save my life, jeez. The nerve. He I'm said he was start. okay with a bow, you should have just let him go. Yeah, I know. I realized after the fact. I knew I was okay with the bow because you guys all have guns. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to start checking caves for exotics. Well, if you want to do that, I guess it doesn't matter, but uh, I'm fine if we want to sleep. I'm just trying to be strategic and use the night for drilling. What? I don't need light. But I don't know if this is going to be done in the morning either. If we're gonna get 200, we're we're half about halfway there. It's yeah. I mean, it's RNG really. What you get from the roads. I'm gonna kill this lovely violet glow. I almost brought the cave scanner with me. No. Yeah. Oh. Looks like a drop. Should only take twenty to thirty minutes. food buff. Let's have some more meat pie. Some more pie pie. And what else? Maybe some bread. We gotta wait for this to go away. I found the meat pie um, spoiled pretty quickly in my inventory. Yeah. I just ate it because it was spoiling. I found a cave. Someone must be in here already. Oh, oh those cave worm nodes, man. They fooled me. I thought that was like, oh, exotics. But no. They got the same glow as the exotics. Sad. <clears throat> Air's up. You ready, monkey? I don't see him, but I'm ready. Right. On your left. Ooh, nice. 
you kill him in one shot? I did. Good work. Death cam. Uh, so, Monkey, did I tell you that I won't be coming to Arizona now? No. Yeah, so uh, apparently my son's best friend, they moved to Arizona for a month. Oh, you did tell me this, yeah. And then they yeah. decided it was too hot. Yeah. And they weren't so, even in the hot season. <laughs> yeah. So, apparently, because where they were living at before is in Crescent City. Do you know where that is? No idea. It's in Northern California. I don't know how far north of you that is, but it's basically okay. at the border. Yeah, that was a pretty funny story. That's fine. Uh, my brother and I are handling it. I got to actually schedule when I'm going back down there next, probably end of May. It's going to take me two or three more trips. Hey, g kind. Uh, yeah. Do you bring ramps? Uh, thatch ones, yeah. Perfect. You need them in the cave? Yes, please. Did you find gone. something good? Not yet, but... Uh, I didn't want to go down the hall without a way out. Uh, hey, were you able to plant the mushrooms? Uh, hang on, where are you? In the crop pots? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we I'm in the g got a lot oh, of mushrooms okay. that Oh, way. right, okay. Yeah, all right, here we are. I, the, sorry, I thought you were in a different game. You know what? Actually, I can get out. Perfect. Ooh. Hello, Mr. Bear. He's dead. Like, oh no. No, he's moving. He should be dead by now. No, he's head towards me. I'm seeing God, blood. How many bullets is he taking? That's just it. Like, I'm seeing the hits register, but he doesn't take oh, the damage. Oh. Yeah. Frank. Right, sorry, were we? Do you want uh, ramps? No, I'm good now. Are oh, you good? Okay. Yeah. Well, actually, sorry. I'll take three. No problem. Okay. Are you guys um <laughs> carrying anybody carrying any more uh, polar bear pelts? I have. 27. Yeah, Drop them in the... I threw the textile bench down in the house if you guys want to throw any in there. Okay. And uh, any leather you got, too, can go in there. Hey, Will Herlock. Thank you for subscribing. Hope you're enjoying it. Alright, we made it to daytime. In spite of ourselves. Right. These are getting close to full, so I'm just gonna pull this out. We can drop stuff in the textiles bench. Well, I was actually gonna drop it in the textiles bench, but... Yeah. Whatever you do. Don't use the textiles bench. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, they've definitely done something because you shouldn't be getting hypothermia with fur on. Well, there was that warm. whole temperature rebound, quote unquote, rebalancing. Yeah. Yeah. But then they rebalanced the rebalancing, so. Who knows? Did you? No. You're playing Icarus and listening to you guys and you heard that monkey and thought we had arctic monkeys? <laughs> That's the new, the new update. You missed it. Let's go looking for more bears. Ouch. Oh, Let's here's one. Put a mark on here. Uh, to the east. Get him? No, he just. God, they just. Gotta get closer. I guess. Uh, they don't usually take this many hits to kill. Because you're not really hitting them. You wanna skin him? I'm good. If you've got, oh, uh, you, you've just got the cave knife. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll pop that up. I also button. don't know where he went. He disappeared on me. <laughs> yeah, he disappeared oh. on me too. Just, oh. Yeah, I can't see it either. Just oh. literally, poof, okay. out of existence. Got yeah, robbed. Oh crap. Yeah, good to see you polar bears still have Gumby physics. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably just under the map. Hey, coffee cup, what's up? How are you? It's just a matter of staying calm while death is running straight at you. Oh, the riff has got that. Oh, it's got the wrong. Oh, got, yeah, I'm going to need to deal with that. <clears throat> is it going to let me? <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think it's going to let me. See if someone explored this one yet. Looks like no. Okay, so let's try it on my. Let's uh, eat this. I have the right texture of this thing. Now we should be poison proof. Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay. 
Yeah, I found another cave. Um, and it's full of worms, so I don't know if you've been, any of you guys been in here, but it's, um... I don't see any exotic nodes. A ton of everything else, though. Too bad we don't have a way to haul all this stuff back with us. Oh, well, there's five of us, so... But then, is hauling a bunch of what do we back. really need? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, trouble. Trouble, mm -hmm. trouble, trouble. What's the matter? Never mind. Oof. Yeah, there's something wrong with hit registration. You just gotta get a lot closer than you're comfortable with. That's right. It's good excitement for the stream. We were watching Shabby Doo stream last weekend and he had a cave worm spawn inside a cave wall so he couldn't kill it. <laughs> he eventually killed itself. I love it when they do that. There's uh, one cave that uh, I think Cube ended up he had to build a wooden wall because the worms were spine spawning behind uh, a stone wall that you couldn't shoot past, but they could. Uh, so I think he ended up building a wooden wall to just be able to mine the cave. You know, and it, it's stuff like that that really the devs should have fixed a long time ago. Uh, okay, time for some more biofuel. How's it doing? It's still chugging along? Yeah, just that's uh, the first kind of biofuel finished. That should be about 90. Is that right? 90. Well, in total we've got, let's see, that's 120, 140, 60, 180, 182 plus... Yeah, there you go. 91 per can. So we're almost done. This one has a deep gold node. Yeah, I thought it was in that one. So if we were going to prolong this map, there's plenty more ores. You want to haul it back. That's what you want to build. Chris Duke. Well, I thought it'd be interesting to see if um, how well crops grow here. But Gross. we need something to plant, of course. Grow snow cones. Oh god! Uh, well, there's, there's the mushrooms. Mistakes. Mistakes have been made. Mistakes have been made. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay, got him. Chris Duke says in response to that cave worm thing, he says, you can kill them, you gotta walk up to the wall they're phasing through, so they attack, when they do barely a bit, a little bit of their head will pop out enough to strike with a blade or whatever. Oh, interesting. Chris says he's looking forward to us doing the scorpion boss. I I was waiting on that one um, for them to fix it a little bit. Hopefully, they've done that. Apparently, when they first came out, it was really buggy and very hard to do. Oh, it's it's hard to do. Well, I mean, it's challenging. Yeah, I don't yeah, mind challenging, I, but not because of the challenging part, but because of the bugs. I yeah, it didn't seem buggy to me. No, um, I I just died a lot. Oh yeah. 
I don't know what the bugs were. I, I just listened to Fortizar talking about it, and he said that oh, yeah. uh, it came out pretty raw. But I think he did it probably like the first day. Yeah, I mean, it took us a good half an hour to sort out what the mechanics were and what he was doing. Mm -hmm. Once he got that figured out, it was, became easier. Chris Duke says that one is beastly on hard or hardcore. Oh, I bet. Pays out well, though, especially if you mind the exotics. It's weird to complain that the polar bear spawn is too low. <laughs> <laughs> but it is. I definitely remember it being much higher than this. Yeah. What's weird is there's no wolves. Uh, no, there, there aren't in the southern glacier. It's just the Arctic. I mean, originally it was like 200 wolves and 15 polar bears. Yeah, they, they really, they really nerfed it because... I bet there were more than 200 wolves. Um, there we, was a crazy amount of wolves before. Uh, okay, lost the roof piece. Oh, crap. Uh, oh, was it's that fine. not connected? Oh. Um, okay, let's find a way to repair that in case we have a storm. You know, find some driftwood or something. Scorpion boss has a charge that just destroys anything in its path. Yes, yeah. it's, uh, yeah, we experienced that. <laughs> <laughs> I we thought it was being all smart, making towers. I was like, it can't be more than five high. But I made these five high towers. That didn't last long. Oh, God. Oh, God. What? Uh-oh. Why is... Well, I shouldn't say why. I was like, why is Chris getting all the excitement? But we know why. Well, um, why did I come down and there was no polar bear? And then it just spawned and immediately started attacking me and I'm dead. Um, <sighs> he's down. You do know you're Chris, right? <laughs> Yeah, but there was no bear there. I looked. Yeah. Grr. They spawn in. On top of me, apparently. Uh huh. <laughs> so don't tell me too much, guys. You gotta leave me ignorant of what happens with the scorpion, so that you can see me die. If you tell me how to do it, I won't die. Yeah. And that, what kind of fun will that be? It's a, it is a fun boss to play, actually. Uh, Walk right by you. Yes, I did. Somebody got you up? Yeah, Cyber. I walked up. right by you. I didn't see you on that map. You didn't see me standing here? No, I did not. <laughs> I was literally standing <laughs> over her body for like a full minute. Yeah. It's just Coffee watching me freeze to death. Elden Ring all over again. Dead. <laughs> it won't be as bad as Elden Ring. Well, Elden Ring, man, Elden last Ring? stream I died 70 times to one thing. Eventually killed it though. Elden Ring is ridiculous. Or I'm ridiculous in it. Peanut butter and crisp sandwich. <laughs> oh, you watched the coffee cup? I'm just happy I eventually got it. And I managed to do it with melee without cheesing it. But man. That thing was rough. It was pretty unfair, really, but... That's what... Dark Souls We're bosses done. are all about. Oh, yeah? Yep. If 
bike up there, right? Did you need wood, G-Con? Uh, I might find some. Okay. Just because I found a little bit. Ooh. Oh, what is happening? Do I think they'll ever give us the vehicles? No. Oh, these things are tough. I think they got realistic about that. Yeah, these guys don't have the coding chops to do uh, all the moving parts of a vehicle. Imagine what that would do to the frames. <laughs> And the terrain's so rough, too, so it would have to have, like, you know, four independently suspended wheels. G-Con, are you still fixing that building? Uh, I'm trying to get... Oh! oh you can take, take it down now. We're going. <laughs> I'm taking storm damage. Oh, is it finished? It is finished. Okay, uh, I'm just coming inside to warm up a bit. Uh, I've got exposure. Oh, that's better. Solar powered rocket packs? <laughs> You'd be able to cheese it with too much like that. They want you to have to walk everywhere. I don't think they're going to give us anything that makes traversal easier. Because that's half their game. So, MP, how, uh, have you got enough for your polar bear set? Or uh, uh, when I'd left I left it, I'd only made like four out of five pieces. I don't know if people contributed more. I was trying to make everybody a polar bear set, but I don't think that's happening. Well, We'd we should definitely get you one because you're the you're going to be the one playing through to the end. There's any more out there. I'm just running back right now. I made it most of the way back from the way that we had come in. Looking for bears. I think there's a bunch of pieces in the bench. Yeah, there's like 70 some pieces in the bench. Oh, right. Oh, okay. All set then. What happened? You got a wood piece there. <laughs> um, I, I think it, I think it must have come off when I, I, cause I redid uh, the roof pieces because they were like the ramps instead of the you know the, the proper roof slates and that was annoying me so I took them off and I think at that point it must have even though it should have been attached to he's running towards pieces. the house where is he? he's running towards the house from the south The polar bear. Which one are you? Shooting? Or did we shoot you? Yeah, somebody definitely shot me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the bear got you. Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't have been me. Nope. Yeah. Maybe you should have packed a gun. Yeah, well, maybe. I got the I got so, a critical hit on it, so it was. You want to skin the thing and add the the fur to the textile bench, and I'll see what I can do. Uh, did you want me to skin it? Everybody's got a good knife. I thought g -Con had the good stuff. Yeah, I've got a platinum knife. Oh, What's that? Is that 225? Ooh, T-Bone. Lovely. It's uh, just, the no, it's 200. Yeah, it's 200. So I've got some of the exotics, and I'm cucumbered now. Oh, we all let's see if we can get uncucumbered. 
All right. Boom, boom, boom. We need... This one needs pants. Right? Yeah, we need pants and shoes. All right. It looks like I can make another chest. A hat. I'll just make chests and hats. Now we're out. Alright, well. If you guys insist, I'll wear a set. And there's two hats in the chest left and in there. Uh, tempted, I might. Try and see what it does, because uh, the composite armor is not so good. Uh, let's see, cold resistance fifty-five. You swap so anything out, it. swap out the chest piece. Whoa, cold resistance! Yeah, that that's added ten points. I just There's love the look of this. It looks like I got a onesie on, a little polar bear onesie. Uh. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, cold resistance actually drops if I put the the head armor on. Hmm. Come on, really? Oh, there he comes. Hey, me for a change. Why are we oh, suddenly he's... getting them now? Stop. It's a porcupine. It looks like a porcupine. <laughs> Alright, let's throw that stuff in here before I pick up the textile bench. Shaycon, you skin him. You have the better knife. <laughs> it was the perfect accidentally shot you excuse. It wasn't me, I didn't shoot him. You guys saw. <laughs> the beauty of us having five guns. Right. Could have been anybody. All, really. all pointed uh, towards you. <laughs> right, okay. It wasn't me. It should be okay to tame wolves and make sleds. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. But they're not going to let us tame anything. They said that explicitly, I think. You saw screenshots of the work they had already done. So much work, I can't believe they would fully scrap it. It was all module for individual parts repair. Chassis, wheels, etc. Huh. It looked like well, the bear got him. It was definitely the bear. Maybe yeah. in, a, in a forthcoming... DLC. Gcon, you want to throw that um, polar bear fur yep. in here? Uh, where's the? And that gets us. So get bored. I guess another head. Oh, there it is. I put this head back because uh, I'm not going to use it. All right. Well, there's three heads in here. You guys better take them. Seven, five. Get everybody at least with polar bear heads. I've got, yeah. um... Now we can walk amongst them. Yeah, yeah. We'll never know. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm going to dump the rest of the stuff in here. Yep. We need to take the base back with us? Well, we're going to go do another one, right? Um, we don't... Re well... Don't need to shelter as much. Why? Desert. It's in the desert? Mm -hmm. Oh. But, you got, we can't do. And I'll leave it up. Okay. 
just for frame. Yeah, actually, that that's the point because um, it it's it would just be another structure for the game to make calculations on. Um, I mean, even if you just demoed it, can't carry at all. I can't uh, carry the beds either. So if somebody wants to take their beds, I just dump this all this crap in there. How much well, um? Can. How much did we end up with? Oops. Exotics. I have, um... I got 620s. How much do you have? 620s? Yeah. So you got 120. And I've got, um... 673. So that's 193. Is that it? Nobody else has any? Nope. Yep. I won. The price is right. Yeah, it's working. Bot. Killed the bot. Do they really think someone's going to go to that site? I don't, <laughs> what the hell? Well, <laughs> amazingly, I mean, people do. They only or need they, a few. Or they misclick. Yeah, it's like shooting. Fishing with yeah. dynamite. Oh, there was some more polar bear in the fur in the um, what should we call it? Uh, the uh, campfire fireplace. Oh, now I'm heavy. I don't need the fur. Uh, so I'm gonna need to. And I don't need the raw meat. And spoiled meat. I need the leather. Oh, come on. Why is it not? Go on. Give me the ghost thing. Here's Cyber. Do you have any room you want to take some arrows? Yeah. Uh, well... Can, can... Okay. You got him? Yeah. Anything oh, else? Man, that still didn't slow me down. Or un. I got more space. Uh, let me give you twenty exotics. That did it. Did you get him? Yep, got it. Okay, cool. You picked them up the instant I dropped them, so I was afraid they fell through the world. What's she doing, she can I uh, just taking the base part. Uh, the fireplace is a little tricky because you can't take the top off from the ground floor. You have to build a ramp to get to it. The game was giving me trouble doing that. I don't know if you need them, but there's a few building pieces in that campfire. Wine oh, bottles. Wine, wine bottle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you throw it against the uh, rock somewhere. Do they actually smash if you do that? No. Yeah. It looks like you got one frame hit left here. She can't? Uh, can I take the campfire? I can take the campfire. And all of six. Right. Oh, we need that as well. And that's just, uh, this is just junk, isn't it? This is... Oh, there's well, a bunch of fur. Yeah, we don't need it. Oh, okay. Um, the, so, yeah. the polar bear armor doesn't use it, it just uses leather. Yeah, uh, so they'll despawn anyway. All right, which, guy, which way do you guys want to go out? Same way, I think. Okay. Same way? Okay. Let's go.
Good work. Easy peasy. Oh, bear. Come on. You're too far. You should be dead. You're too far. So this cave on the left got checked? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you just uh, need to I... save the actual polar bear for... I have no space to take it if... So, right. I've, I've skinned it, someone just needs to pick the stuff up. Well, your campfire and fireplace are pretty easy to make. You want to ditch those. I got the fur. Okay. The polar bear fur. Well, that's all we really care about, isn't it? Mm-hmm. E-bone's kind of rare, too, but... We got lots. I think I have 18 raw ones on me. It's the same, um, the prime meat buff for all of the... If you cook them. Yeah. 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 Uh, I've, does anybody I've, have any leather? I do. I accidentally jumped off that cliff and broke my leg. Ooh, <laughs> split tight. Well, where are you at? I have rope. Just need, uh... For your back. Oh, I need sticks. I've got oh. sticks. Oh, that bear that went underground oh, yeah. just popped it. up again. Sorry. Sure did. I forgot that I could make sticks in my inventory. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. This is the one we just did. Yeah. Appreciate it, guys. No one gets left behind. Unless we shoot them on purpose. <laughs> Much appreciated. Mm -hmm. So, how about these mountains, huh? <laughs> They're very nice. Oh, look, another bear. You gotta get real close. Saved your life. Mm hmm. With your arrows. Saved my life or stole my kill, one or the other. Yeah, and I also aggroed it before you wanted to, so there's that. Are you moving all right now, Cyber, with the splint? Uh, I gotta wait 30 seconds and then I can move again. Hmm. It'll be dark soon. We can find the cave somewhere along the way. Well, we'll probably be fine. I mean, it, it's not light that's the issue, it's the temperature, so... But yeah, well, I've got the campfire, so... We'll be fine. Can I always throw the building up again real quick? Or like a mini version of it? I'm good, guys. We can go. Thanks for waiting. Mm-hmm. Have to get you with us so we uh, can shoot you again. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, we don't leave people behind, you know, not for polar bears. Not if we can kill them ourselves. That pumpkin bread still gives quite a nice uh, boost. I mean, they they did nerf it a bit, but. 
but still quite good. It just spoils now. So sad. Oh, another bear. I wonder if he'll fall into the crevice. Shall we wait and see? Or is he going to no, run back? He's, <laughs> he's going to run. Oh, oh, oh he jumped! Oh, he jumped. <laughs> okay, uh, it was maybe a, a tactical mistake. <laughs> I was inside of him for a minute. It was great. That is not meant for this channel, monkey. <laughs> 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 Am I, am I skin, skinning this? I got it. Anybody else have hypothermia? Or you can skin it, and I'll just, yeah. I'll just grab the... Uh, oop. As uh, fashionable as those helmets are, you're losing the debuff from having all five of the fur. Oh. Notice. But you look cute. <laughs> that, I mean, Thank you. Second kind of cool, right? They look totally adorable, Dad. Be great. I mean, monkeys into polar bears, you never know. <laughs> Why are you crouched, Cube? I'm sneaking? <laughs> did you see me? <laughs> I did. How do Damn. you expect to be polar bear bait if you're sneaking? Uh, you gotta just run in the middle. True. Have I taught you nothing? <laughs> <laughs> And you have to be overburdened, too. Always. So there's no running away. Debuffs. Those heat bandages are not working. Uh -uh. Yeah, they're kind of garbo, huh? Why are there yeah, they, everywhere? I've found they only work if you're uh, indoors, and then you can get rid of the, the hypothermia debuff. Because uh, that's a pain in the backside. Oh, I see. But yeah, they they don't work outside like when you really need them. Yeah. Which is a bit rubbish. But they used oh, to. Cool. Yeah, they used to work pretty well. Oh, here. There's a cave up on the right. Here, Yogi. Yeah, we just passed Yogi. He's eating a piss picnic basket back there. On the right. <laughs> on the right way. The average beer. Hey, boo boo. <laughs> I don't see a cave. Where are you going, G-Con? You scared? Huh? Are you scared? No. You're running Why? out of here like you don't like the Arctic. Uh, I actually really like the Arctic. Uh-huh. As a biome, yeah. Although I prefer the, the other one with the wolves because it gives you lots to do to pick them off with the bow and arrow. Is there a cave on this face? I can't remember. I know there's one down there. There's... Right corner, there's one. Yeah, no. Might be one up in this corner. Nope. Around the corner.
Wow. That totally looked like a cave in the distance. Huh. There's one here. Here? Ah, oh, cave. There's one right here. Yes, the infamous here. <laughs> Everything is always there. A polar bear literally spawned between us. Got it. Bam! Wow. <laughs> okay. Double whammy. How am I getting shot through a brick wall? Yeah. Oh, these damn cave worms are. I can't see him either. Oh, there he is. Oh, God, you got all of us. Oh. Well, no exotics. Nope. All right, throw your beds down. Oh, oh, yeah. what? Oh, we sleeping? Hang out in here? Uh, we sleep, yeah? Sure. Sure. We got a oh, fireplace? Okay. G-Con's yep. got the campfire. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can put it somewhere where uh, we're not going to stand on it. <laughs> oh. That'd be no fun. Uh, I wish I could see myself in bed while I'm... Wood to sling in it. I think there's one outside. Mm. Uh, are we missing a bed? Yeah, I got it. Did we put one upside down? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got... Uh, we need wood for the campfire, sorry. I got it. Yeah, we always have to do that in memory of Glitch. I don't know if he's still in the prospect or not. Nice. All right. Nice, warm, sunny morning. With snow. Polar bear. Right you are. Uh, so you say just charge oh, yeah. up on it with a knife? Yeah. That's the most exciting way. Catch it first. Right? Someone yeah. jumped over it. That was me. I don't like your method. I'm gonna go sneak. God, he on. got me with his. Okay. Do you need a suture? Yeah. Uh, I've things. got them. Okay. You need one? Uh, okay, someone's got an overflow bag here. Who's on first? Yeah, that'd be me. Ooh, okay, getting exposure. Oh, you're fine. Uh, drop. I love how the ice looks uh, when you drop it. Oh, we're not far from the... Where are we? Oh, yeah, we're not far at all. Oh. 
Of course, we get all the polar bears after we pick up the textile bench. Back into the woods. It's amazing how the terrain transitions like that. Alright, now we need to go up here. I guess we'll have to run past the base to um, get to the next spot so we can replenish or drop off whatever we need to do. Switch to cloth uh, armor. Yep. Big cave. We check this one out yet or no? Man, you guys made short work of those. Don't shoot. Mm. Don't see any. It should auto make a mark on your map every time you find the cave. Yeah. Shh, that just makes Agreed. sense. What's wrong with you? Wow. Can't be making things easy. There's normally a regular bear spawn here. I mean, you would mark it on your map yourself, right? Monkey, this is the space age. There's no such thing as GPS, clearly. Right. I mean, Garmin does not exist in this world. You have to... Uh, you have to spend electronics to place a beacon down. Uh, well, Elon hasn't put the satellites up yet. <laughs> not here. It's funny because that's not even close to space age technology. I mean, well, this, this is in the boats for like sixty years. This is in the future, right? Oh. So. Yeah, but you're like, forgetting about the time travel aspect. And the Elon was uh, assassinated for his role in Twitter. So <laughs> Starlink never got fully deployed. Gotcha. Okay, we're going for the blue. Last one the base is a piece of spoiled meat. I've got quite a bit of spoiled meat on me. I guess I guess I'll take <laughs> that roll. Pretty sure it's gonna be me. I keep freezing up. Oh. Put the water bottle back. Let's 
uh, slightly needed. So the wine buff is a is a food buff. Yeah. Oh. So all the times I was drinking before, it was doing nothing. <laughs> but when it's up, what is it? It's uh, yeah, hundred percent stamina regeneration plus one hundred twenty-five maximum stamina. Okay, so make sure I have a food buff open before I drink wine. So I have to drink wine on a partially empty stomach. That's what I mean, it's telling it is me. A food group. Yes. It lasts a good long while. It's a thousand seconds. More than that. Alright, we're going the right way. Towards the green mark. I think a, hair, a bear ahead of us. Be careful. Great. So run full headlong into it. Got it. Precisely. Perfect. Um, since we're going north for the last node, does it make sense to keep the rest of these exotics on us so we could drop it off at the northern base? Yeah. Yeah, I could do a run through with those uh, and just drop them off in the pods. Uh, I mean, we don't all need to go for that. Um, I'm I'm happy to do a run. Well, I mean, since we're going to be north when we get them anyway, I don't know. That part of the map's not filled in yet, so we'll see how it connects. But I'm assuming it connects up there at uh, I-3. Do you remember that concrete suspended building you did? Mm-hmm. That's where it is. Okay. That's the connection area. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we can just come right through there. Okay, hey, uh, the textiles bench is upstairs, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This off. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a quick. We need oh, armor quick. stands so we can put our fancy armors. Yes. Great. On them. Some people would use the cave cheese to get to their pod. Just saying, and then cut into the desert. You know, I can probably say I've never used the cave cheese. Should be otherwise pretty good to go. 
Oxygen's fine. Log is holding up. Um, there's more stamina. Stamina buffs. And there's a uh, half a dozen more wine in the kitchen, but in kitchen bench. I really need to do this, but I will. So, monkey, how many more Saturdays uh, do you think you've got in you on this? Um, it depends. I mean, the. I'm cool with uh, when someone's hosting. It's just it's a matter of someone being willing to, you know, take that hit again. Prepare your guns. Oh, yeah. Can anybody make any lighter armor? Not for armor. Uh, yeah. I can make the uh, hunter armor. Yeah, I'm just wearing cloth right now. I don't have the cloth. Uh, I, can, I can make it. You can probably learn it. I probably have enough points. Let me see. I'm sure I do. I guess a 5% uh, speed buff. A cave at your current base allows it. Yeah, I, I don't even know how to do it at this point. I've forgotten intentionally. Wish they would implement gifting those as well as exos and ren. Exotics and ren to other friends that need a... Oh, yeah, gifting points and exotics and stuff, yeah. I will not call it ren. It's rocket bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely rocket bucks. What is ren? That's apparently the official name for the um, the uh, the money. Yeah, for Rocket Bucks. But it's a well, lie. They changed it from Rocket Bucks. Well, it was never really Rocket Bucks. No, but... it was. I'm just kidding. Bad marketing. But yes, Rocket Bucks is way better. Uh, where were we putting the exotics? Um, we're gonna keep carrying them up with us. Okay. Um, if you're gonna if you're gonna ditch, you can give them to me. But I was thinking we'd um, go get the rest of them and then just drop them off at the northern base from there or if in, in our pods if we have space. All right. And actually, if we're going, do I have any... Let me see if it, there's any space station stuff here that needs to go. Yeah, there's an MXC axe. I'm going to take that. I guess that's it. There's a platinum pickaxe in there if someone needs one. Last piece of pie. The rest is gone. Really hope they do salt. Some kind of preservative kind of delays. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, on the arc I always had salt on me. I'm ready to go when everybody else is. Yep. Just cooking some meat real quick. 
There's a bunch in the fridge. It's the fatty T bones. Well, okay. I dried some. Is that a mistake or? No, I think that's a separate one too. Oh yeah. There was a melee region. Oh, that one's not. Oh, this one's coming off the hook. Let's just see. Oh, wow. 25% yield from butchering meat. Oh. An interesting one. That is interesting. Awesome. Ready check? Uh, I need a second. Sorry. Okay. I'm, I don't have any frames right now. Oh, I probably don't need to take the textile bench with me. Bear across the uh, valley there. On the east wall. Ooh, dead bear and a level up. Nice. Oh, if you guys didn't uh, repair your stuff, make sure you do. I yeah. forgot. Just be uh, one minute. Alright, I'm ready. Okay. Do you think you could ever build a base that is on a Jesus nail? Basically, you remove one piece and the whole thing comes down. <laughs> um, yeah, if you uh, built it on a single foundation, like my old uh, Fallout 76 base was. thing balanced on one um, pillar to make it even look better.
Are we all in motion? Uh, not quite. I'm just um, I'm making a replacement piece to fix something we lost in the Arctic. Hey, but uh, clear. Just gonna psychologically torture this deer. Look at him. You won't oh. kill bunnies, but <laughs> <laughs> you'll torture a deer. Torture! Look at him. He's is, freaking out. Is that a baby deer? You give him no. a little poison too. Even better. Oh yeah. Ah. Oh god, he's crying. Uh, Get away! The calves over there. You just watching. can't figure these cave walls out. Make some more poison. Double poison. Come on, you guys. Bus is leaving. No, oh, look at that poor baby deer. All right, we're on. We're on the move. Oh, oh God, you poisoned that one. All right, okay. What is it like in those um, movies with like Secret Service protecting the president? They always have like a name for him. Eagle is uh, on the move. Oh yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. You get white meat from baby deer or scorpions. Isn't scorpions soft meat? Is that the same as white meat? Two separate things, I think. Oh shoot! Uh oh. Well, I forgot my oxygen tank. Uh mm -mm. Oh well, you'll want that. That's still just a little bit important. I'll just grab some oxide. Well, gonna be here a while. Okay. I'll go get it. I'm fine. Okay, oxide will work. We can all throw oxide at Chris. <laughs> all right, so are we headed towards the red mark? Yeah. The James Bond books. Bond's code name was Predator. Predator on the move. I was thinking more like when you have the whole like. Convoy with, with the one uh, very important person. The principal. Package. Package. <laughs> the package. We've, we've got the we've got the package. Wine in the desert, that's a good idea, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. It, it hydrates. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I told you guys my story when I got to Arizona. It was really hot and dry. And, you know, I had gone there because uh, of my dad dying. And so the first night there was drinking involved. But, oh, my God. It took me a couple days to get over that dehydration. I had no idea what I was doing. Change the texture of my skin. When I first moved to Utah, um, when I was about 21, I uh, went on, I, I climbed the tallest mountain in the state. It's supposed to be a two day hike, and I, I went up and down in one day, and my camelback was full of beer the whole time. Oh. It was, <laughs> it was uh, the sickest I've ever been in my life. You, you can do, you can get away with that sort of thing when you're young, but oh, if I tried to do it now, I'd just die. Yeah, it's... <laughs> don't die. <clears throat> Ooh, hi.
No exotics in this cave. Lots of ores, though. Yeah, funny, I haven't seen any scorpions yet. I saw a bunch last time I came over here. Monkey, your light's on. Oh, thank you. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, it's not spawning. Normally this place is just absolutely hooching with uh, with animals, uh, and I'm not seeing any. No. So I haven't had a problem with scorpions, so I saw on the Reddit a lot of people were complaining about how terrible they were, and I thought, so yeah. far... I mean, I'm gonna jinx myself by saying this, but I haven't got actually hit by one yet. I've managed to kill everyone before they've even gotten to me. The poison is, um, it, it's it's quite bad. It's a, it's a lot worse than the cave worm poison. If you All get right, a couple of heads, head, you can, uh, you can head right. Go to the red mark instead. Oh, okay. Are we? We. We're not pretending to do the radar stuff then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with that. If you guys know where we it is. We weren't pretending. We we did the radar thing. Yeah, we scanned this before we left the first time. Yeah. Where are you okay, going, yeah. Jacon? Get turned around. I'm I'm taking an alternative. Seen it. Scenic route. Checking some caves. He's got his own drummer. Uh huh. The old Sesame Street. One of these kids is doing his own thing. Mm hmm. Why did my red mark just disappear? Because we passed it. It's behind us. Oh. Well, Give us another mark, go. Cube. Oh, right. Uh... We're lost without it. Go. Thank you. Why am I faster than you? I'm not running. Oh. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <coughs> I mean, because you're amazing. <laughs> do, 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 do. We can repair him. We have the we technology. Have the technology. Oh, <laughs> that movie's so dated by the price on it. Six million would have got nothing. Uh huh. We got a, a foot, maybe. Toe. Pinky yeah. toe. <laughs> At least they didn't put a price on the woman. They didn't. She was just plain old bionic. Yeah. Oh, and I left the red mark again. Uh, either way, go north. north. Oh wait, you should be at the super cave right there. Just go through it. Through the cave. This is where our uh, our outpost cave. base was. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a scorpion. Oh, I haven't seen one yet. Oh, well, I just saw one die. What did you get from it? So the pincers you can turn into a trap which works on bears wow and the other thing i think you can make a hedgehog out of them hmm. 
Does it look better than the fine wood hedgehog? I don't know. I haven't made them yet. Yeah, it poisons things. Because a regular hedgehog looks so blunt. Are you okay, Cyber? Yep, I'm almost caught up to you guys. Oh, did you actually run back? Uh huh. I've just been throwing oxide at her. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, behind me now. Alright, now which way am I going? Somewhere above you. Somewhere north. Yeah, uh, north right Ooh. side of the lake. Are you a little in the past, Chris Parson? Sometimes when you're watching the stream, you lose that little red mark on the live. End up uh, a little behind. Gotta make sure it have the little red circle next to live. Looky there. Awesome. You know what I didn't think to do is uh, refuel, bi get more biofuel cans. Hopefully somebody else thought of that. Oh, hey. I, I put, I had two empty ones. I put them in the, uh, the thing to recharge. Do we have I biofuel? Have on me. Okay, you rule. And Q probably remembered to bring biofuel, right? Yeah, I got some. I don't even know if he'll need that, G-Con. I mean, you um, can't... We're here long enough. Gives you something to do. <laughs> well... We will need to sleep at night. Yeah, at least we can, you know, I can hunt without carrying a building around with me. True. Is it done oh, yet? It. It's not done yet. What now? I don't know. Try to find a scorpion boss. Well, actually, you know what I need to do is I need to open up this whole corner of the map. Chris, here's your bottle. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm gonna run around and try to open this whole map up. We don't have this corner done. Oh, hey, Scorpion. Do you have a structure, like a bench or anything to put down? Uh, no, but we can make one easy enough. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. I got hit. See, I told you I jinxed myself. I'm not poisoned, though. Oh, damn. We got lucky. Yeah, I want to open up as much of this map as possible. Is one of the goals. Mister, uh, could have done this when we were over here, but I didn't want to take too much time. I don't know if it goes much further than that or not. I might have to run back there next Saturday and then also do this side here. The desert's my favorite biome by far, just aesthetically. Yeah. 
Just like You're all the crazy. colors. The winter biome's way better. No. <laughs> I mean, they all do the a good job making it wintering by frosting your faceplate over it all the time, but... This has all this, like, these rock formations. It's got waterfalls. It's funny, the desert has, like, the most waterfalls. It has the most water. It does. <laughs> Mega Cave is at N4. Be over here somewhere. The end of that. Dark spot. Go over here. We'll make it back there. Nice waterfall. Is there a secret place behind it? This is it. This is the deciding factor whether this is a good game or not. Are there secrets? Yeah. I just don't understand why game devs don't understand. This. Oh, there is. There has to be a cave. Okay. Alright. They pulled victory. Nice. Uh, cave back hey Chris, here. There's a cave there. I mean, a cliff. Yep, there sure was. Oh, and there's exotics in here too. Nice. I've got a titanium pick. Me too. You know. Oh, good. Must work for me. Yep. <laughs> exotics. Nice. All right, ten out of ten game. There was a cave behind the waterfall, and it has exotics. They knew the judgment was hanging there, and they succeeded. They fixed this cave. It was the SpongeBob cave where you were underwater but not underwater. <laughs> How much did I get from that? I got. Oh, it's hard to tell because I was always oh, carrying some. I forget how much I had before. Oh, I did give Cyber 20 of them. Yeah. All right, cool. That was uh, lucrative. Oh, hello. matter? Ah, uh, just having a bunch of scorpions and cougars trying to destroy the base. Right, where was I? Oh god, I'm not a bloody scorpion. Maybe I should have slept while I was in that cave. Chris, did you go in that cave? I'm under in the underwater cave. Oh, okay, that's. Ah, uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah. I've got pneumonia underwater. <laughs> I'm not sure how that happens. Oh, for crying out loud! Just 
got a ton of animals just attacking. Oh, God, I've pissed off Jumbo as well now. Oh, yeah. All right. Have a knife. Ouch. They know that you're by yourself. Health low. Oh, crap. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Where are you? Why is this not sheltered? He's back at the uh, base thing. Where is it? I don't see him because he's dead. I didn't mark Blue it. Blue dot. Blue marker. Oh, all the way over there. Dang, we're all far away. Are they attacking the uh, drills? Uh, mostly they were just attacking me. Right, but now are they attacking the drill? Uh... They are not at present because I killed everything. Uh, Did you get a bed down? I, nope. Uh, unfortunately, uh, All right, I'm on my way back. Jumbo got me before I could... Uh... Oh, sorry, no, there is one cougar alive. He's just kind of hanging out, chilling. Base is taking a small amount of damage. I don't care about the base. It's as long as they don't go for the drill. No, they can't. They don't seem to be able to get to the drill. Um, they were. If they go through the base, they will. Like. They, well, the scorpions yeah. were. They were attacking uh, the the foundations. Okay, so they're I'm not sure whether drill. it was to get to the drill or get to me. Uh, the hyena is just hanging out, just doing his thing. And there's a cougar and oh, another scorpion's turned up. Chris is in the N4 cave. But How the, do I uh, get into it? Uh, we just left the entrance just now. Just um, now? There's two entrances. Are you guys at the entrance if I went to where Basically, you are? Basically, yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely check it out. It's a nice cave. There's two entrances. You'll want to go in the easier entrance so you don't fall and break your leg like I did. It's right here, <laughs> monkey. Oh, where'd you go? I lost you. I saw you run by. Right oh, there you go. Cool. Thank you. And then you'll have to swim underwater. Exciting. Good luck. Okay. Wish me luck. You can do it. Thank you, Chris. Mm -hmm. Every and time Chris. I get in my map, I get like 255 ping. No worms. Yeah, there's no cave worms in that cave. What, is there like an underwater cave there? Uh-huh. Oh, it's a big cave. I... Oh, cool. It's a dry entrance with a portion you have to swim under. Ah. I think I I'll did not know might need one. to make a uh, ramp to get up here. Ah, uh, you would need a lot of ramps to get up the uh Yeah, there's a hole. Exit. Mm. Oh, you can go down. Too bad my lantern doesn't work down here. I can't see crap. All right, I want out. No, let me out. Oh god, this is my worst nightmare. <laughs> I'm stuck in the dark underwater. I need to eat. Can I eat? Unstuck? Yeah, there's a bear chowing down on some carcasses, but. Bear? Where, where would the unstuck be? Oh, boar. That, that's about it. Everything else has disappeared. You have to hit escape. 
and it'll come All up. Alright, I'm not going back down in that hole. Where would that hole lead me if I could see where I was going? The, Which hole the, about? the underwater oh, hole? It just takes you to another part of the cave that goes up. And then if you have a bunch of ramps, you can get up it. But you have to have a lot of them. How did you see when you were down in you. underwater? You're welcome. Um, oh, God. It's night. I don't know. Was it, into into the was it more lit in the day? <sighs> no, it was dark when we went down there. Maybe your my settings are just too dark. Yeah. Oh, God. There's so much meat here. Right. You have a uh, wood, G-Con? <laughs> uh, no, but we can fix that fairly quickly. I also have, like, all oh, of my settings up. set to, like, low. Yeah, you know, setting low settings actually make you see better in the dark in this game. Yeah. Yes. Because it takes out all the shadows. Right. Also turning your light off. Oh, damn it, I've lost my lamp. <clears throat> well, my light gets, um... Turned off automatically underwater. <laughs> yes. Is there Incoming. any any of the lights that do work underwater? Yeah. The, the, oh, for uh, crying out! Um, what the um, flashlight? Yeah, the flashlight does, and so does the um, spotlight. Uh, there's a high Yeah. Thanks, man. The spotlight. But those are the worst ones. To, yeah, those are the worst ones to carry. Like the. the uh, the, the the lamp or the lantern spot? Uh, not the. No. Thank you. Right, I need to get some bloody health. But oh, we need. Definitely wood. not the lantern. I got wood. Okay. Oh, what's that noise? Okay, That's a scorpion. Good job. I don't know where it's out. It's right here. Those are pretty Put easy. Put a bed down. Though. Yeah, that, di that died pretty fast. Before you forget, G Con. Um, we're gonna need some sticks. Oh, some you didn't point. grab a bed? Ah. Yes, uh, uh, no, uh, Chris. I have an extra bed on me. Here, take this one. Hang on. Gonna... Monkey, if you come to where I am, I'll show you the other part of the hole. Okay. Oh, okay I'm, I'm far away already. It's okay. Okay. Thank it's you. It's in the middle of a big, like, arch type of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Made out of stone. I've always felt like this would be a really, really cool place to build a base. Me and Glitch and Bayman all built here. Bad, 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 bad. Bad? Yeah, I'll just know it's in that general area if I um, right there, dude. And oh, the back here again. Yeah. Yeah, after right. all those bloody animals. Hey, come here. Just grab that one. Okay, done. Okay. At least you have a spawn point for when you go down. Right, where was I? Oh yeah, the half pieces. <laughs> They're incredibly annoying. Back on task. Come on. Or Ben. Sounds that sound like scorpion sounds, but I don't see them. I'm getting attacked. I don't know if you would hear them to me. You can hear the extractors rumbling. Are we done yet? Oh, 
Apparently not. Uh, a little way to go. Oh yeah, this is this is easier with. There's another scorpion. Watch out! Oh no! Okay, right now I just need to make a door to replace the one the scorpion destroyed. Now when you're done, it'd be great to um, sleep and make it daytime. Yes. Uh, Chris and Cyber, are you far away? Nope. Um, You're way back. Bad. Let's cuddle up and get asleep. Scorpion on the left. Welcome back. You good, Cyber? I'm trying to run for the scorpion. Fuck. What do you say? I can't shoot it. It just keeps glitching all over the fucking place. I'm pretty sure. Language. Language. That's two. I, I'm really sorry. <laughs> it's send your core swear jar request to. Uh... All the parents just signed <laughs> off from the stream now. Where is it? I didn't see it. I killed it. Oh, well, we came to save you for nothing? <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Come on okay. and have a sleep. I need you to put my bed down because G-Con just stole mine. Are you scanning that moment? Just not leave the carcass. Carcasses attract things. Yeah. Uh, okay, so. Yeah. Good. Awesome. Accomplished. <sighs> Need to use a wine bottle as a swear jar. Would you leave your swears inside the jar? <laughs> uh oh. Awesome. To get rid of some of these carcasses. Alright, let me... Some more map opening. Let's go down here. Right. I have seen all of this uh, in our other missions, but... The point is they have it all revealed at one time. And since I got some time to kill. I remember this desert area being relatively big. How long would it take to run the entire outer wall of the map? That's a good question. I 
and you could also a effect... test would to see how long it takes Chris to slow walk around it. <laughs> That's a long time. Full of five thousand silica. I've slow walked this desert a number of times. Yeah, it also depends on like what buffs you're running and stuff too. You could definitely speed it up with certain buffs. Let's see, let's go. Let's follow the river down this way. Which way is that? Is that down here? No. It's this way. How long would it take to mine the entire map? A lot longer than it would take to run around it. And then the hardest part would be uh, trekking everything back to a central place. I mean, if you just put it all in boxes in each cave, but that wouldn't be any any use, right? What I think they should give us is not vehicles to make us go faster, but they should give us something to make us be able to carry more, like a cart. You know, and maybe you can't run with the cart, but you can just walk at a normal pace, but you can put a bunch of stuff in it. Something like that. Yeah, so... You can at least move stuff better. Or There's in a mission the, where you collect biofuel to power a pod. Mm-hmm. So the lore is there. Oh, it's like a a movable pod. Well, it gets sent back to space. You're basically giving getting enough gas for it so that it can go back to space as part of the mission. Mhm. Mm so there's no reason we couldn't say collect a set amount to hop our pod to another location. No, oh, right, right. Other than the devs, of course. But. <laughs> Keep moving your pod around. But your pod can only carry so much, too. Yeah. Perfect. It's limited. Wouldn't be OP. You know what would be really cool in this game is, and they used to have it, is um, make it so you could actually be on the space station. Has that G-Con on your left? In Ultima Online, they gave us commodity deeds, basically a piece of paper that you could attach thousands of logs, ore, etc., and cash it in later when you were at home. Well, that's interesting. But yeah, you could have like a base on the space station that you could take stuff back to. I thought they initially had envisioned something like that. They like did, and, they, yeah. and then they trashed it. Okay, why am I carrying 15 glass? That, but that would be cool. You, you know, you could bring trophies there and some certain amount of mats that you could bring back with you, maybe. At least have, like, the RP of a place that's, like, your home in space. Probably use one more can of fuel if anybody's close. I'll bring it back. Fix this up. People would sell them on the ultimate online forums for real cash. Sold deeds with 500,000 logs on them. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Think, uh, what is it? Is it Bless, Blessed Unleashed or something? Current game yeah. that's going on. Uh huh. They're switching to NFTs as a, a play to earn model. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, I'm surprised they're still trying to do those as unpopular as they've been. So I guess, okay, yeah, down here we'd hook to the desert. There was another game uh, coming out that was going to be like that, too. I 
you play to earn NFTs and then sell them, try to sell them to other other players for cash. Star Citizen is almost built that way. Almost. It'll probably eventually have something like that built into it. Really? Because like a Kickstarter, man, they're beholden to their guys. Man, I know, but there's no way. I mean, they've already earned, they've already gathered five hundred million dollars. I mean, <laughs> they'll never finish. This is gonna live off the Kickstarter forever. It's the most successful unlaunched game ever. They've made so much money. It's crazy. It's gonna be epic though if they do realize their goals. Oh, are you kidding me? It'll be the best game ever made. I'm not ashamed to say I, I own a ship or two. <laughs> my, my friend Ed uh, has about 8,000 real dollars oh, invested. Yeah, I know. 8,000. I've well, been the, back the problem, for pro five years now. The problem with investing in that game is you might be dead before it's done. That's what he says. It's funny because like, he needs a new computer really bad. But he's afraid that something will happen where the game is more playable, and then his computer won't be good enough to play it, so he keeps waiting. <laughs> it's seriously like over Christmas, he had like three thousand dollars saved up to uh, buy a new computer, but then the the winter sell came out, and he spent it all on new ships. <laughs> I'm like, uh, you realize you spend a lot a lot of money on a game you've never he's never played it. He's never he's never had a computer that could play it. How are they future-proofing their game? Like, they're taking so long that there must be, like, their engine must be becoming outdated and they have to keep updating their engine. Or they don't, that's just it. They, they haven't developed anything yet. What the do you mean? The fuel is in the fireplace. Well, that's the whole point, is they haven't okay. actually developed the technologies to move the game forward. Oh. So what it has in it right now isn't the way it's going to eventually be. They're building everything from scratch, the technologies that need to exist, which if they're actually doing will be amazing because it'll help every gaming industry. But yeah, for sure itself will be spec. I mean, that just be means they have a million even. years to go. <laughs> million? Two at least. Well, I, I think it'll be like this game. They'll release in a state that's not quite finished and then they'll continue on. Yeah, but it is far from playable. Oh, yeah. Right now. No, 2024. It, maybe. I, I, it's funny, you know, there are parts of it where you feel like, oh, yeah, it's really good. And then there are other parts of it where you're like, wait, there's no way they're going to get this done in time. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, they, they still have base building, salvage, all kinds of game mechanics to sort out. Have you tried playing it, Cute? Oh yeah, I, I play pretty much every year, once a year for three weeks. <laughs> I mean, I heard they have like some small campaigns that you can play. Uh, it's very much like this in that it's it's sandboxy. Mm -hmm. So they will have a lot more missions and stuff uh, that you can do, but you don't have to. You can just go on your own and explore and mine rocks, trade stuff. I played it pretty hard in December, um, and I really kind of started getting into the mining at the end, which was pretty mm -hmm. dope. It really was. It was fun. Yeah, um, the Quantania mining, and then yeah. if you figure out the whole uh, halo and the so to the asteroid I, field. I rented some ships um, and put new drill heads and stuff on there, and then rented like cargo ships. And I felt like I spent like four real days mining all this material, put it onto yeah. my cargo ship. And then as I was landing my cargo ship, my gl my ship glitched out and I couldn't fly into the atmosphere. 300 yeah. <laughs> and 30K. hold on, while I'm sitting there, because I'm thinking all I got to do is log out, log back in, and it will restart me where I was la last left off. Right as I'm about to log out, a player comes along and destroyed me. Nice. Yeah, I mean, it was the trifecta. I mean, really, you just could uh. not get any any less lucky. <laughs> it was wow. unlike it. And I, I logged out, never logged back in. I'm like, yep, can't do that again. I mean, four real days of, t of time. That would have gotten me enough um, in-game credits to buy a couple of ships. That would have made the game playable for me for the duration, if that makes sense. But uh, nope. Alas. Yeah, the risk-reward is definitely oh, there. 
Like, you do not want to lose your ship at any cost. It's not like, oh, well, I can just respawn. And then they're, you know, when they incorporate uh, Death, of a si Death of a Spaceman, it's going to be like, every time you die, you're just going to be worse. Until your body can't take it anymore. Yeah, I mean, just the scale of what they're trying to do, like, the the spaceships themselves have individual... They're built out of individual pieces. Oh, mm -hmm. the ships so you, are... I mean, you could take out the landing gear, you can take out the engines, and then person on the inside, and they're going to have ship fires that, you know, spread throughout the uh, the cabin. Uh, so, Chris... Can, you, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. You can repair it on the fly while you're in the middle of a battle, if you have enough people on your crew. Chris Parsons asked if you could explore every building in the cities in Star Citizen. Nope. <clears throat> that would be something. It, you, you know, not yet, but I guess that's kind of, I mean, every, that's kind of their goal, is there's literally, anything you can envision doing in reality, you're supposed to be able to do in the game. Which is nuts. So they're just trying to recreate life? Or like to the <laughs> real world? <laughs> Quite literally, yeah. <clears throat> we I, gotta, thought, I, I thought wait. maybe they had made some breakthroughs when they started, you know, announcing all this meta stuff, but they're basing that off an entirely different... I was, about to, I was about to say, I was, we gotta let Zuckerberg know he's a little far behind in <laughs> creating the metaverse. Yeah. Star yeah, Citizen's he, way he ahead of him. An entirely different direction, which is weird. I don't, I don't feel like it's going to be a success. I feel like uh, it is. It couldn't be as successful as if they were able to successfully realize their their goals for real. His is so jank and cheese. Oh my God, yeah. looks like like we, like the right. little me's. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Gabe Newell was like joshing about the metaverse. He's like, uh, has he not ever heard of MMOs? <laughs> not Ron. They want you to be able to explore infinite planets? Wow. Yeah, so like the solar system that exists now is just a model. It's just basically they're trying to perfect one solar system so that later on there will be thousands of solar systems. So they're trying to do like the No Man's Sky yeah, procedural I mean, generation thing? Obviously yes. No Man's Sky has its uh, issues. If it was truly multiplayer, man, it would be pretty dope. Yeah, yeah O'Reilly and I were trying to build next to each other in No Man's Sky, but as soon as the other guy logged off, he couldn't see his stuff anymore. Or, no, if you were playing at the same time and he logged off, he could see his stuff, but as soon as you logged in again and his stuff was gone. Oh, we got some bots to kill. Chris Parson says, the prison system is awesome. If you break the law and get caught, you go to jail for in-game time hours. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> you got to spend time. Yeah. You got to do your time before you can... Yeah, you have to do... There's a work there's release a, program. Yeah, there's a work exactly. That's <laughs> awful. Like going to the first time I went to prison, I'm like, yeah, I went to prison. The, you, <laughs> yeah. you, you do whatever you can to avoid prison the second time. <laughs> I went once for 19 hours. I'm like, oh, it, man, I'm going to be here forever. It's a lot of rocks. You watch the guy in prison mining away his 12 hour sentence. <laughs> Does it generate anything real or usable? Uh, not really. Not yet, anyway. 
I guess there used to be a way that you could actually sell the currency you would get in there, so people could just go to prison and then just get out, but they, they patched that. I'm close enough for the pods at the moment that I'm actually just going to drop off the exotics I have on me. Oh, wow. I didn't realize how far you were. Yeah, I've just been running around opening up uh, all the fog of war. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, gosh. You've, uh, you've done some miles. Your sentence gets reduced. <laughs> A um, couple of bear spawns up there, MP. Just uh, to let you know. You I hope there's, so. There's a bear canyony bit. I certainly hope so. This has been really boring so far. Need some action for the stream. I might just... No, I'll only wait until the storms. Finish. I think you hit the nail on the head, though, Bullet. I think uh, multiplayer is where they're going to fall down. What yeah, do you mean? Little, um... They can only support so many people right now on a server. And I, it'll be a little like uh, Atlas, where it has multiple servers handling it, I think. I but really I, don't, don't... I don't think they can do Sorry. a thousand. Yeah, so that's the whole idea, is everyone's supposed to be on the same instance, right? I really don't see how they could do that. And I don't see how they can, you know, write an, an entire game engine, you know, especially as vast as they're talking about, and have the code anywhere near optimized. Um, Somebody has to do it eventually. Or are they using Amazons now? The Lumberyard? Yeah. I heard Lumberyard's a mess. But maybe they're <clears throat> they're making it better. That's what I heard anyway, you know, just looking at stuff about New World. And it was one of the reasons speculated why New World was kind of a mess. Oh interesting. Or maybe they had picked up an abandoned branch of Lumberyard or something. I forget the exact story. But it made Lumberyard Hyper. sound less less ideal than I thought it was. Cyber, are you taking damage? Yeah. Um, probably just standing too close to the fire. Uh, and the storm, I guess. I don't, I don't know exactly what the hell's going <clears> on. <throat> You've seen like five people manning the same ship. One flying uh, and four manning the gun turrets. That would be fun. I did that in a in a raid, what kind of like a raid what they have in the game. That's mm -hmm. a lot of fun. And you can make a lot of credits really fast doing it that way. Yeah, I mean so a lot of it right now because there's not a lot of content is just uh, emergent gameplay. They'll have like a big tournament, like a gladiator free for all in a in a crater. You enter the crater and one man leaves, or they'll have a, a rally across a certain planet on ground vehicles. It's just player-organized stuff that's going on right now, mm -hmm. but still pretty fun. So it's full PvP? Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Because that's how the player destroyed you? Oh, there's... <laughs> yeah, there's no shortage of jerks in that game, that's for sure. Did he get your stuff, your four days of mining? No, that's just lost into the void. Really? They can't loot you? Uh, they could have, but that in the process of destroying me, it would have vented everything to space. It is possible, if, that, if they had taken the time, they could have disabled my ship, and then boarded my ship, and then repaired my ship, and then taken it and dropped all my stuff off, so it is possible. But I was carrying a lot of stuff. I mean, a lot. Way more than I definitely should have been carrying in one ship. I just yeah. lost connection. You definitely want to... Uh, yeah, I learned that lesson. Split up your away. loads. <laughs> I was like gambling, you know what I mean? Yep. I was like, oh, I can make it. Yeah, one more run. 
I just, can do it. Yeah, that's exactly how it was too. <laughs> you can buy access cards and infiltrate remote star bases, hack a computer, and erase your crimes. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's fun. This never happened. But it is not a fast game. Like, everything takes a long time. Like, fast yeah. travel is really slow. <laughs> Damn, I mean, seven sun. It could take 34 to 5 minutes to fly from one planet to the other. It's part of the immersion. So what's a crime? Um, killing, what? like attacking people at a, at a, uh, at a space platform. Uh, attacking other people in a play in a uh, PvP restricted zones, that sort of stuff. Parking so, in the wrong spot. Yeah. Parking in the wrong spot. Literally. Honestly. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Hitting there's, the wrong thing. You you bump into something. You you're in prison. The next thing you know. There's there's a full legal system, so there's going to be different levels of crimes. Killing is going to be But higher. that guy that guy killing you was that a crime? Yep. And do, if, if there are areas of monitored space, if you're in that monitored space, then it's registered as a crime. Right. And I was in unmonitored space, so unless there was like a cop watching him do it, he's free and clear. Yeah. Interesting. It's just not like, oh, you killed somebody, you're busted. You have to be caught doing it. And if you're in a monitored space and they see you committed the crime, do you just get TP'd to jail or do they actually have to catch you? Oh, they have to catch you. So you can avoid you cops? Can go, yeah, that's what they were yeah. talking about. You can go out to the edge of space, go into a space station, go to a terminal there and erase your crime stat. Are cops real players or are they NPCs? Not yet. They're in, they are going to implement that. There are ships built all around it and everything already. A bounty hunter system that's going to be implemented will be amazing. So that people will whole, get to be bounty hunters? Yeah, that yeah. whole game arc right there... Then, then, then there's also ships that are like mechanics. They can fly around and repair people. They have that that you know player that mini game built into the game, uh, ambulances, that sort of stuff. I mean, really, the the amount of immersion you can get in it is basically endless. So if you're a crook, you can't go near an occupied area. Yeah. So you have to be like rebels living on the fringes. But there are outposts that aren't governed by the law. And it, yeah. there are there in the current solar system. There's you know basically everything oh, is already no. occupied. In the new solar systems, nothing will be occupied. It will all be player controlled. Cool. Maybe. <laughs> it can also yeah. just lead to the Alpha Tribe scenario. Yeah. It is so large a space. Even the one solar system, though, is, you know, you can avoid what happens uh, to cyber. If you take the time to be careful, you, you change your routes, you find different jump points. You can avoid people altogether in that game. Mm -hmm. But it's the risk reward thing. If you want to just hop to the nearest station, there's going to be people waiting for you. Or there could be. I keep getting, uh, I've been disconnected twice now. Oh, they're trying to fix issues. I don't know if that's specifically it, but they did say that uh, we would lose connections for a while while they're trying to sort out the people losing their exotics. Yeah, it's hot. It's nice here in the forest.
There is no fast travel, so if you need to go somewhere that took an hour to get there, it'll take an hour to get there again. That's just like Icarus. Yep. Uh-oh. No, good. Someone said back there they saw something in Icarus. Oh, Chris Duke said there was a trailer for hauling in screenshots he saw for this game. That would be sorely needed. I think that uh -huh. would be a good addition. How's you guys' weight, Chris and Cyber? Um, I'm at 50 pounds. I can take another 50. You I'm at 77. Pull some of this uh, exotics out. That would be amazing. Yeah. Just got them in the drills. Yeah. Is it finished? No. But they're starting to fill up. Uh, I put down a couple of um, things. You know. I guess I'm too far from you guys because I've barely seen any animals. I wonder how I'm the not spawns work. Very many. It's covering too much ground for them to spawn animals on all of it. <laughs> Strategy. Don't want to see many animals just run really far, really fast. Are you uh, stroking out there, Cyber? Ah, uh, yep. The water wasn't helping you, eh? Yeah, it's just... Uh, I got in the water and it didn't make any difference at all. Weird. Should give a cooling buff. Yeah, I know. They make a point of, of keeping you wet for a while. Okay. Is this one mine? It is. This is your dropship. Alright, we're going to put this on there. And... Alright, I dropped all the exotics I had on it. Cool. Alright, let's drop some of this junk back over here. Oh, the bridge is goners. What happened? Bridge is damaged? There's only rails left. Oh, floating really? In, floating in the air. Unless it's just not loading properly or something. Well, rock takes damage now. <laughs> There's just rails up in the air floating. <laughs> well, bizarre. It's bizarre. Yeah, I guess they, I mean, they had to nerf the stone, because... But I don't think the no concrete... Have they nerfed the stone and made the concrete, like, more resilient? Yeah, but there's a lot of stone outside here that's taken no damage. It's kind of weird, the, um... A lot of the railings have disappeared on this one, even though that's all that's left on the bridge. They said, I noticed in the patch notes, they said, uh, it seems like they had fixed the problem with uh, the wood embedded in walls, mm -hmm. taking damage. Oh, okay. Want yeah, that was you, the Cyber? issue we were having before. What's up? Did you want me to kill you? Nah, I only got 160 more seconds. Okay. Thanks, though. No worries.
Hmm. I wonder if uh, the base I left, the other side of the Arctic, is uh, taking damage then. Oh, it's weird. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense what's broken and what isn't. Um. You said you left some, uh, whatchamacallit, some uh, exotics here at the base? I think I did. Someone left a player tracker module here. The first cupboard, that's, I don't know. That's mine. Um, where'd you leave the exotics? I have no idea. It was so many uh, weekends ago and so many missions ago. It seemed like eons ago, doesn't it? Uh-huh. I'm not seeing them anywhere. Hopefully it's not this one cupboard that's missing. Possibly one of the benches? Been looking in them all. Hmm. Looking in the ice boxes. <laughs> There's one cupboard in the row that has got destroyed. Is it near the front? Um, it's in the row of, uh, it's not the oh. two in the front. Um, it would be about where the wood would stored generally in a normal order of things yeah unless somebody grabbed it and put it in their ship I don't know it's true Chris Parsons if they make the uh, worlds good enough people will just live in them forget about the real world I think that's probably coming. It's, I don't think it's that far I mean, away either. I mean, there's people who've been doing that since video games started, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, I don't see them anywhere here. I was going to throw them on my ship, but... Um. Well, from the... From the uh, some of the interviews they did this past December, they were talking about they were actually trying to create digital workspaces inside the game so you literally don't have a reason to leave you can go to work and then basically work remotely somehow digitally within the within the game and then go play the game as well it, it's it's literally um, uh, ready player one yeah scary the oasis mm-hmm yeah. Chris Parsons saying it's closer than we think. The, um... I'm sure it'll be there. The thing is, I I will never do VR myself. I already no, feel goofy. Goofy enough, like, the amount of time I spent staring at a screen. And, uh... You know, justifying that to my family, but if I actually in a corner with just a face mask on, <laughs> I can't see anything. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't think I could divorce myself from reality that much. I mean, at least now I can look around and see how my dogs are doing and stuff. I can't imagine just checking out on that level. There's a case to be made, though, for things like Beat Saber, where you have to be up and moving. 
Well, you definitely get a bit more exercise than you would. Just sure. Sitting. Yeah. But, but I, I mean, you. Beat Saber could be on a sc wide screen TV, too. It doesn't have to be on VR goggles. Yep. I mean, we sure. the Wii had that going on. Oh, I know. Wii Sports. I'm not a big Nintendo fan, but I, I like the Wii. Got my kids off the couch. I really um really opened uh, a kind of gaming up to people who previously wouldn't have even thought about it. Uh, I'm gonna run 189 of these exotics to my ship. Awesome. I'm just running back from doing that. Heading back to you guys to see if there's any more that need to come. Still got to do this part of the map. But I'll have to save that for another stream. And this part of the map. Probably just a little bit right there. It's gotta be a cave, yeah. Half expecting to see a little Ewok kind of come around the corner. What <laughs> Why? Uh, well, Desert Canyons is, has got that kind of Tatooine type feel to it. Oh, you mean a, a Jawa? Oh, yes, sorry. Yeah. What did I say? Ewok? Oh, God. Ewoks. Yeah. Those are more like. Wrong, wrong biome. That's more like, yeah, where I'm at, a little forest. So I was a little bastards, man. Yeah. Uh, anyone else been watching the um, the Halo TV series? I watched the first two or three, and then I've just sort of lost my gumption. Hmm. I mean, are, the, you this, are you enjoying them? I I am, yeah. I mean, the storyline's different from the uh, the game. Um, but it's yeah. I mean, it's pretty good. It it was a it was a bit slow to start, but yeah, it's getting quite good. It's a hell of a lot better than uh, Picard. Yeah, I haven't watched you, that. You didn't like Picard? Sorry? You didn't like Picard? Last uh, week. no. It's it's really not doing it for me. I know, but how can you say it out loud? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't mind hearing it, but I still haven't watched New Generation or whatever. I, a couple streams back, we were talking about Star Trek, and um, I asked people... So I haven't watched any but the original and some of the movies. And I asked people which ones I should watch, and uh, folks said I should watch New Generation. And then I was part of that. What's that? I was part of that. Yeah, and then uh, Deep Space Hello. Nine. And so is that? Is so that the drill finished. To no. um, we're uh, just full, so we're gonna drag stuff over. Uh, okay. To watch Halo. I had to subscribe to Paramount for a little while. Oh, and then, that's right. Um, and then, uh, since I had Paramount, I could see all the different Star Treks. And I tried to watch um, New Generation. I can't get past the first episode. Yes, the first episode is the worst episode, too. The, actually, yeah. the, first, the first season is so weird. 
Like, I don't... Like, you watch the first season, like, how did people watch this? It's so weird. And then the yeah. second season, they went in an entirely normal direction. Oh, yeah. I mean, I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to do this whole parable and putting humanity on trial. And I, I just couldn't, I couldn't care less, you know? It's just like, <laughs> uh. And so, well, you know what I end up watching is I what I'm really enjoying, which maybe a lot of diehard Star Trek fans will think I'm terrible for this, but I'm actually really enjoying Discovery, and I'm watching that. Oh, I mean, cool. If if you can get into Janeway, get into Janeway. Why not? Janeway? Yeah, Captain Janeway. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. I just don't remember his name. It's a okay. Got he's it. yeah, he's cool. I, I mean, he's all right. I just, you know, I like the protagonist, and it's just like a better, I don't know, action film. And I think the critique from real Star Trek fans from Trekkies would be like, well, it's lacking a lot of the moral parables that Star Trek is famous for. And that's actually kind of what I like about it. It's just being more actually, of an, more of an action movie. Too, though, really, it misses all of that stuff a lot. That's why Ben Sisko will always be the best captain. Janeway wow. is from Voyager. Yes. Yeah, I don't yes. want to hear it, Cube. I didn't say anything other than wow. <laughs> <laughs> not there's not another captain in all of the genre who was actively willing to and carried out genocide. I love it. <laughs> no. <laughs> as, as retribution, like, oh yeah, you want to fuck with it? I did it again. Uh huh. <laughs> Well, it's Whoops. funny you're worried about the f bomb, but Dang. but but genocide's fine. Genocide's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. He was willing to commit genocide. It was. Uh, like, compare that to uh, to f bomb. <laughs> I'm really sorry, guys. <laughs> no, I don't mind. I think it's hilarious. And <laughs> Space Nine is really good, though. I mean, it's, I think it's, it's hilarious. So good. Oh yeah. You won't get any argument from me. It's uh, it's d yeah. It's the only show I've ever watched that I cried at the end, and then, and I'm willing to admit it. <laughs> yeah, it was consistently strong throughout. And, I mean, it was, it's criminally underrated, um, by uh, uh, well, folk who are kind of sci-fi geeks, um, but it was, I mean, it was really one of the first. TV shows that started to do um, uh, kind of complex multiple um, season arcs, uh, and it, I mean it was layered. The, the the stories were so well crafted, and they had there was multiple kind of story arcs spanning, and you know, uh, not just multiple episodes, but you know, whole seasons, uh, and it was so well written, really, really good. I'm about to run into you guys again. Did you um, manage to get all the exotics? No. No, I was going. I I just restarted the drills. They'd run out of juice. Um, one is about to run out of juice again quite shortly, and the other one's got an almost full can. I would swap out the almost full can for the lowest can, and then use that can as backup for the other one. Yeah, that makes sense. So we'll just oh, we should be close. I mean, that's just got so. Well, one can's got so little left to run. I might as well just let it finish, and then it's just on the one drill. Well, you can I, still run oh, both drills. So I on. ran past uh, you guys without seeing you. We just. I, I think saw that's you. it. It's I saw you. just stopped. Is this me being yeah. unobservant? That's it, guys. It's tapped. So, got an extra 21 exotics on top of whatever you guys were carrying. So, there's just 21 left on there? Yep, that's it. Mind out. Wait. Well, I hope we didn't lose that other batch. Maybe you got on your ship and you just didn't realize? Or, or someone pulled out and took it with them. Oh, wait. Yeah, maybe it all went on my ship. 
Is it five slots of five? Uh, no, three slots of three slots five. Of five. So that'd be 300. No, there was more than 300. It was whatever was in that picture you that I took a posted. screenshot, right? Yep. Did we? I'm trying to remember. I think. I went. There. I think we put a bunch in, in the drop pods. If I, if memory serves, I think mine was full. Well, if yours is full, that explains where it is then. Well, no, because I've I've got armor and other broken workshop oh. stuff in in there. So I think I only had maybe like a, maybe two lines of exotics. I'm not sure. I can't remember. That would that would be about a hundred, right? Yeah, I think yeah, so. that that would explain it. Unless you got that all from nodes. I I was close to four hundred, pretty sure. Can't. I'll go back at some point and look at the image I posted. Chris, are you all right? I keep freezing up. You're rubber banding really bad. Yeah, I can't move. Okay, well, we don't need to bring this base or anything in it back, do we? Mm -mm. That's it for ex exotics. This person is looking forward to strange new worlds with Captain Pike from season two of Discovery taking uh, over yes. the Enterprise. I actually like that guy as an actor. He just ends up in bad roles. Who's the actor? Uh, the dude from the Immortals. The quiet dude. I don't know oh, if you ever really? saw that. Yeah. Yeah, I like that guy a lot. Oh, good have to. AFK. I don't mind the new one. It doesn't definitely seems to be a lot of uh, woke for woke sake though. Which one? The new one, Discovery. Uh huh. Like which parts? Sorry? Which part? Oh, I mean, in general, uh, just the casting, the way it's put together. It's, uh, it's almost as if they went through and said, okay, how, how do we not offend anybody? Let's tick up all the boxes. Let's have somebody representing every sexuality and every religion and ethnicity. And, yeah. Which, I guess you know, so. fair enough. I mean, there's a fine line that. Whoa fine line there like I I like that it's a black female protagonist right but the there's a lot of people whenever they do that they say oh this is just a diversity showcase but that means every time they cast folks of color that it's a diversity showcase what when do we get to the point where it's just diversity yeah. you know no that's, yeah. that's a fair point So I mean I think there is a there is definitely a point where it has to be done intentionally just because it wasn't done for so long. There is that too. Um But then hopefully it just happens naturally. Th but they said okay, female captain with a guy's name. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that speaks to the gender bender part. Which again, I don't have a problem with. that. That's minor for me. Oh, 
باشه Yeah, and I thought it was actually cool that they had two of the main characters be a gay couple. I thought that was that was right on, actually. And they weren't afraid to show them being tender either. It wasn't just like these guys are gay, and they like you know they actually there's plot around that. Have you ever seen The Expanse on Amazon? I love The Expanse. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, that is awesome. Yeah, that's... I'm so sad I'm I, done with I it. Scratch so many itches, I'm just saying. That one yeah, was really good. Yeah, I mean... It's, I, I mean, I can't believe it nearly died, you know. Um, well, that's a, that's a sci-fi trait, I'm, man. They, they killed the best yeah. shows ever. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh... But yeah, yeah, that I mean, that just that really, it was like um, it, it did what kind of like what Battlestar did is it just completely redefined uh, the, the genre and just raised the bar so Well, that's because, you know Amazon, I mean, it was already kind of tanking, and then Amazon bought it, re-injected money into the you know, into the uh special effects budget and all of a sudden it's amazing again you know that yeah. and sci-fi does that with every good show they put a punt a bunch of money into the first season or two for their special effects budget and then they <laughs> give them nothing afterwards i was gonna say ironically enough the one that kills the best sci-fi shows is the sci-fi channel yeah, for real <laughs> like stargate sg1 or uh sgu that's that show was amazing and it was so good for people who were fans of the of the show, and they just killed it. Just you know, they made it like two seasons, and they're like, "Yeah, we just don't want to do it anymore." No faith in me, Chris Parsons. Thought I was gonna die. Away. Yeah, because um, Stargate Universe, they they went, they really went with the kind of the palace intrigue and the isolation of the characters and them forming kind of different uh, cliques. And I'm playing off against one another and all, all that kind of stuff. And and that's what really made them interesting. It, it was, you know, all the character interplays. And, yeah, the character development in that show was way better than any of the yeah. others. Um, I mean, SG-1 was, was largely hung around um, Jack O'Neill's character. Yeah, Captain O'Neill, yeah. uh, Tilk, and I can't remember, um, Captain Carter. Cool. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I do miss the East Bands. So on your screen, Chris, are you frozen? Mm-hmm. It's funny, because on my screen, you just keep running the same length of, of forest over and over and over in, like, a loop. Yeah, it's super annoying. I can't even move at all. Can you, you can try the unstuck thing and see if that kind of resets your movement but wouldn't that take her back to her sleeping bag though uh no if it, if if you're in a place where there's like a that they seem to have like some kind of definition map for it if if you get stuck in part of the map it will shift you you know x number of feet or you, you know to a press? previous save save point um, but yeah, just be careful. Look out for the message. If it comes up with, um, you know, do you want to respawn at bed or in your ship, uh, don't go for that option. Hey, choose ship. <laughs> yeah, it could take her to her pod. Oh, right well, on. Actually, so yeah, we just have... Um, Gcon, you're just carrying 21 exotics now, right? Yes. So... I don't, don't think there's anything else we want to take from here, is there? Is this I don't think so. We don't need the extractors anymore. Nope. Don't, 
Need the building. We could just abandon this. Did literally nothing for me. Demo it. Um. Why is there one cupboard missing? That just makes me think that's where it was now. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna continue to have that doubt. It's gonna prey sure. on you. That would <laughs> yeah. Be best or, right? I don't know was why you would have put it in that third one down the line, but. Are you sure it wasn't in the original base? The original base. That's what I was talking about. That's in where the he is. Base? Yeah. Yeah. That's the, where he's it, at. That's where I thought it was. Thought I put yeah. it in one of the cupboards in the space. Did Glitch take him on his ship? Possibly. Did he leave? I don't know. I think I saw pretty much everybody's dropship still here. Oh, wait. No, there's... Well, how do we know? We can't know who's still in, can we? Until we leave. Yeah. So one of them, one of the dropships is Puzzle Monkeys. Can't the host choose to kick people? Only if they're on. Oh. Yeah. Did he put it in the glass monstrosity? No, he didn't take it all the way back there. Or are you talking about G-Con's glass monstrosity? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, the glass house is no longer. I packed it up and put it into a much smaller. But yeah. now I think about it, there might be some exotics there actually. Uh, I'm definitely gonna do a, a pass through at some point. Yeah. Go through everything. Yeah, that's the problem with playing a map this long, is you, you forget where you... All the stuff we did, and where we put things, and... We still got 23 days left, man, come on. <laughs> yeah, I know. Don't, don't know what you're planning to do with them. <laughs> I mean, I would be totally down for playing a map for 23 days if the map would hold up for it. Um... You know, just keep refining the bases and building things and, you know, kind of ramping up off of our previous work. It would be like an outpost, basically, but except it's the whole map. So for 30, 30 days in game time, you have the whole map be your outpost. Well, um, and if, the, if it could handle the, the network load, you know, or whatever, yeah. it would be... Great. Wow, Chris, it oh. really set you back that time. Holy cow. I can't move at all. You mm -hmm. it, like on my screen you were where I am now and now I can't. you're Wow. I mean my screen is frozen. Try relogging. Probably what you should do. Yeah, that would make sense actually. Chris, if you want, I mean it's it, we can just call it and then come back tomorrow and finish this. It is almost 3 a.m. at my house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm ready to uh, sign off from the stream. Okay. Um, last note off. on the whole map is your outpost. So another uh, joy killer for that is that um, you only get 90 days on any map regardless of what you have in game time. Uh, before they they kick you or delete you. Okay, so I put what I had second from the end with the iron. Okay. Because you have no room left on your ship. Yeah, I'm full. Yeah, I still have some slots. And then Puzzle Monkey has some slots. Puzzle Monkey is my other guy. Yeah. Build a base out of wooden rock piles. <laughs> Good. You wouldn't want to do it out of rock piles because I think wood wood takes damage. The trick with that is you'd have to stack them just right to be able to make a space that was covered. I wonder if they would count that as shelter. That would be interesting. Make a big oh, old so pile of them and then just uh, pick up some in, underneath in the middle. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out.
we had uh, five and a half hours on this one, and we did accomplish our goal. We managed to get the exotic nodes two and three um, out of here. And so we've got all three exotic nodes, and we managed to find some in a cave or two as well. So I'm going to come back here one more time at least. Um, there was just a little bit more I wanted to do on the base, not that it really matters, but I will be doing a showcase of the base at the end anyway, so it matter for that. Um, and I do need to fill in these last little bits of the map um, so that uh, uh, I can take the picture of it. I won't be able to take the whole picture at once, but I can take two pictures and then Photoshop them together, I guess. Um, and this will be my uh, Icarus Intel site. Um, made by myself. Uh, actually exploring, although these guys did a lot of this exploring, although I have done it on each of the different missions, but just never had them all together at once. I guess I could have saved all those and photoshopped them together. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so we'll be back on this map one more time at least. And then uh, maybe we'll go do some of those quick ones after that and do some of that science around uh, the multiplayer impact of um, people joining and see what we can figure out from that um and then we'll pr I'll probably take a break from this and uh do some v rising Let's see how that is have a little fun with that uh, make our vampire castles and then uh, we'll see what's around the corner from that we'll never leave icarus completely but uh, we may take a break from it after we do a little bit more Hardcore storms are back, at least in this one. Interesting. All right. Let's hide the best cams dot fun bot again. Sorry. Ruin your chances of going to that site. Having, having oh, wait. A... What was the address? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've heard that one. Uh huh. Sounds like they have the best cams. Yeah, well, if I was worried about people going to it, if you if you want the address, you go on ahead and go there. <laughs> and have fun with the best cams ever. Uh -huh. Best adult dating site. Yeah, you do it. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you for joining, watching to the end of this one. Thank you, folks, for playing with me today. Oh, thank you. Yeah. All good. And Cube, thank you for enduring 14 FPS to host us. You are amazing. Um, that's one of the biggest reasons we're going to take a break from Icarus at some point soon is that someone always has to do that to play together, which sucks. So they got to fix their game. Anyway, but we're still making the most of it while we can. Um, yes, yeah, because you're playing hardcore. We're just playing normal. All right, guys. Thanks for making it to the end of this one. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>